Man, listen, it's a thin line, like, you know what I'm saying? You want to be able to, you, you know what it looked like to see that age of us, of success. So you could see that far, opposed to not seeing that far. If you saw your uncle, your uncle 50, 60, you heard me? You, you can't say you don't have the, um, the introduction of what it looks like to be you and 50 at 60. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So most cats so don't got that. Right. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. So when they see it, they can't say like they'll be like they, they that's what the cats be like, um, yeah, man, I grew up with my uncles and shit your dick. So I'm a, I grew up a little fast, I'm a little more mature than yeah. my little partners. You know what I mean? Right, right. right. Yeah. They say you got an old soul. That old soul. Yeah. You been here before. That's what the old people yeah. start saying. That baby been here before. Yeah, you ain't never <clears> been here before. That little bad <laughs> motherfucker told me. I was going out. No, nah, God just be giving lazy and reusing souls. Like, man, send that nigga oh, Frank send him back. Send that nigga oh, Frank back to earth. Hey, that boy was crazy. Oh, that nigga Frank. Never heard that that before. nigga, I got a new body for you, my boy. I ain't, ain't no World War II. It's hey. Bluetooth, oh, nigga. Man. <laughs> Refurbished. Yeah, oh, nigga. Hey, what is that? Man. Frank, you up again. Oh, Frank. Man. Frank. <laughs> He said, you up again. <laughs> oh, hey, yeah. Delano, get your shit. <laughs> hey, Delano. Bunk and jump. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm going to take it off, man. He calling now. All the old niggas. Wish that. Don't get you some rest, my boy. Cleveland. Oh. Yeah. Cleveland. Cleveland back out. Street. King Bird. King Bird. You listen. You listen. Oh, you Your soul is needed on earth again. I got money yep. to the ceiling. See, this is that bringing that young New Orleans to No Limit. You know what I'm saying? Because I was doing somewhat bounce, street bounce music, and it wasn't on the label until we got there. Mia might have did some, P did bounce that ass and shit, but like street bounce, we call it like gangster bounce. You hear me? And that was for the N.O., shit like that. You know what I mean? Walk that line. It's that trigger man shit. That trigger man shit. Drag rap. Where you from, bitch? Boy, oh, nigga, it's so rough up there. How long you been in this city? Hey, man. Appreciate it. That when I came. Check, check. One, two. One, two. Check. Right around that BMF time. Before it was, like, over. When was, the, when was that BMF shit, Clayton? Summer 06? When they first caught the niggas in the, well, the mayor, yeah, that was that son in law. Yeah. Because that's what started. Like, remember, 2003? That was the first two. shit that happened with BMX when they caused Shirley Franklin. The boys in New Orleans for Super Bowl before the world got to know him. Mm. You heard they doing the same shit. Pulled up on me. You feel me? Word. I want you to meet somebody. How you doing, brother? Respect, respect. respect That's man. new face That's right there. Respect. I do. The, the, the super hip hop connoisseur. Yeah, for sure. Man. Man. What's up, my man? <laughs> I was just talked you up. He did. He literally <laughs> just. That bag. I just. He said he want to get in with the. He said he want to battle you. Shit, you face. Not like that. Like we still gonna be friends. Oh but. shit. Whoa. Oh shit. See, Whoa. I ain't the end assassin. Whoa. Just a no limit Whoa. soldier. Oh, man. Whoa. See? Whoa. I knew he had some. Whoa. Damn, okay. See, I okay. 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 Hey, when I when I get back to where I'm at, I got something for you. Uh -oh. I got something for y'all. I got something for y'all in the car. What a, I got something for you in the other car. Appreciate but I did bring you your size medium. Okay, I got man. maybe a large XL for yeah. you yeah. and a few other people. So you heard me? Uh, we almost in there, Larry. Okay. You good? You need something? Yeah. 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 I don't like that shit. What? <laughs> oh, new face got everything. I ain't like, never seen like that. Smell like Amsterdam, but like a coffee shop. New face got a joint <laughs> roach <laughs> that Rick James was smoking the night Eddie Murphy was in the house. Nigga, that's hard. He did a joint <laughs> roach, nigga. <laughs> you he got a cassette. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's how hard, that's how wow. hard he go. Yeah. yeah. With the gold mark or the silver mark. Man, where y'all was at when he signed up? What city? You missed school and Manny Fresh pulled up on Peachtree by Apache Cafe. You know. the promoter didn't have the money, so it wasn't no show. Yeah, yeah. And this is my nigga Chad. Out there. I did. Yeah. Yeah. I booked Fink. that show. Miss school was there. How you doing, brother? Hey, hey, Respect. I want the green, the cornbread, and the cabbage because yeah. of you, my nigga. Hey, hey, hey. hey you said the first cup of butter, man. man. Hey, good to meet you. Fan of East, no doubt, baby. Good to meet you, brother. For sure. He said the green, the cornbread, and the cabbage. Wow, dog. Two gone soldiers, brother. 
I fucked with Big Ed, dog. That boy was a knockout artist. That's he, what they said. If he, if he caught you, if he caught you, he, he had you. He heard me a gun enthusiast, you know what I'm saying? I recorded with him before he died. He died of cancer. Magic, too. Magic, Magic died yeah, in a car accident, yeah. him and his wife. Yeah. But that's crazy. That shit crazy, dog. It's like the weirdest shit ever to be here talking about these type of people that you could constantly hear them if you want to because of music or see them because of videos. It's like they still here. It's like, yeah, oh, oh, bro, yeah. for real. Yeah. Right, right. What we sounding like? We ready? All right. Without further ado, everybody get in your spot. Everybody get in your spot. Everybody get in your place. It's going down today. It's going down today. You understand me? You, you, you know what it's like? We, we kicking it in a moment right now. Because I was there when the moment became the moment. You know what I mean? It's like the soundtrack of a part of a history of my life. You understand that? A whole portion. And you know it's like, for us to be in 2021, if you would have told me in 1997 yeah. that I would have had a show one day and I'd be talking to, you know what I mean, some of my favorite No Limit artists, yeah. I would have called you a motherfucking lie mm. and kicked you out of my face. Mm. <laughs> but today, in the 85 South Show Trap, Bro. we got uh, 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 a hip hop icon. Oh, man. Uh, a Dirty South oh, legend. Dirty man. South a legend. A no limit soldier. Oh, no limit man. soldier. Mr. Walking Like I Talk It. Walking Like I Talk It. Mr. Cornbread Greens and Cabbage. Fiend now, Mama, that peanut. Yo, man. My nigga Fiend. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, man. In the bit. In the Welcome trap. Thank you, man. Welcome 85. Not only do we have Fiend, Welcome yeah. we got my man Bishop, ATL Top 20 Come here today. Oh, my brother Bishop yeah, pulled man. up on us. Man, uh, pulled welcome up to the it. trap, first of all. Yeah. Man, we take Marvin Gaye everywhere we go with him. Because we feel like he ain't get his flowers, so we made him part of our show, the official. <laughs> the official co host at this point. Make yourself at home. And perfect attendance. My man, New Face, brought you some. Some memorabilia, man. you know, to bring back a few memories, just, you know. Wow. So we can talk about it, man. Right, wow. Everybody know you from No Limit. But we're going to start before that. Whoa. We want the whole history, because you was getting down before that. Yeah, man. How you get started in the music game? I got started in the music game. I grew up four houses away from when Bounce Music was invented. You grew up four houses down mm. the street from mm. where Bounce Music was invented. They had a club on the corner of my block named Ghost Town. That's what T.T. Tucker and DJ Irv first got on the mic and rapped over records being ran back and forth saying, I'm the nigga, the nigga, nigga, the nigga, nigga, the nigga, the nigga, nigga. Boot up, bitch, boot up, bitch, bitch. With bounce music, where they at, where they at, where they at, was invented. You know what I mean? And my daddy had a bar room across the street. I couldn't help but have, you know, be in the center of music all day, air day, all day, air day, you know what I'm saying? And um, man, once I realized I could write from poems to raps, I liked it. You know what I'm saying? I had videos sold to watch. Donnie Simpson on here. Sherry Carter. Oh, you Sherry remember finding that Sherry oh, Carter? Yes, indeed. <laughs> Sherry yeah. Carter was fine as hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they were selective on what they put on there now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The chick from the islands. Yeah, yeah. Rachel. Yeah. Oh. I remember their name. Oh, I see. Oh, I'm not playing. Right? I'm not playing. Yeah, yeah, it's real. Yeah. It's real, real. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. See, that's the things that left an impression in our life. Ananda. Ananda. Oh. Teen Summit. Oh, come on, man. Look, that's, that makes shit fall over when you It's like we should I have, like, the ebony pictures in the wall that. somewhere. Beauty of the Week. Beauty of the Week. Oh, my God. Yeah. The yeah. little magazine with a lot of ass. Oh my God. He said with a lot of ass. What I magazine. loved about the beauty of the week is they found. Why that wasn't the motto? We the little magazine with a lot of ass. Man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That beauty of the week, they were just finding random fine ass women. They'd right. be like, yeah, she's 26, unemployed. She loves yeah. surfing. <laughs> <laughs> she she don't do nothing, but look at her. But look, but look good. Yeah. Look on this rock. But look good. So, man, what was it like being around the invention of bounce music? Because, you know, that's so essential and critical to that region of the world. I don't want to just say New Orleans because it's the whole state of Louisiana. Hey, and Mississippi, we know Mississippi. It, yeah, it, it's stretch, it's stretch, it's stretch. I think what we call that beat. Yeah. We call bounce music, AKA, it's a translation, 
that beat, you dig? So this beat, you can't run from the beat. It's like going somewhere and y'all all chilling and, and you're in the island somewhere out of nowhere. And then you hear, and next thing I know you know, you see, yeah, right. That right, shit like right. the soundtrack to oh, heaven. Oh, oh, yeah. hey, like when I get to heaven, they're yeah. gonna be playing bounce music. Over. I'm gonna find yeah. the New Orleans section of heaven, nigga. They're gonna be lit over there. It's gonna be lit. They know what they're saying. They're gonna be right. they gonna, enough to be over there. They're gonna be, <laughs> meet you with some, some Cajun seafood, a sack of crawfish, oh, you know what yeah. and, uh, and, and, uh, and a bowl of gumbo. And one of them ladies who's gonna keep calling me oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, oh, you want something to eat, baby? With no, yeah. with no shoes on. No shoes. Come on. With the toe ring, the <laughs> little toe ring. You already know how yeah. they get down over there. Yeah, I love it. We got the richest culture in the world because it's all ours. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The states divide us, but, you know, the culture, you can never divide us like that, that. You dig? So um, growing up, there, I feel like I couldn't help but do music. I couldn't help it, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I, uh, Eric Winter Fire, you know, Isaac Brothers, Sade, um, Anita Baker, this type of stuff was ringing in the house. My dad had a nice voice, you know what I'm saying? He never pursued it professionally, but, you know, he had a nice voice, you know what I'm saying? My mom, they loved He could've music. did it. You think he could've did it? Oh, man, Pops was, Pops was that fucking, yeah. See, you know everybody got them people in their family that don't sing whole yeah. songs. They just hit a note. <laughs> 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 you be good. Pops, you gotta yeah. get in the studio. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nah, you. Nah, 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 nah. I fuck with it a little bit. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you can't trust these bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Loving these hoes. <laughs> Man, real shit. Yeah. Pops used to give him that work a little bit. That vibe. He used to close the barroom down from time to time and have on. Um, That's how you close your barroom down, though. Yeah, yeah, if yeah. it's your shit. Oh, come on, go man. Up, man. Go on, man. Look, I'm, I got to clear this motherfucker. I want to yeah. talk to you now. <laughs> Hello, Gloria. It's Betty. <laughs> now, I ain't never said that wasn't your man. <laughs> But when, I, when he entered the home, I just figured he was mine, too. <laughs> they had all them, them women talking, that woman to woman, the players talking to each other. If you think you're lonely yeah. now. Yeah. You know what? I'm surprised that nobody ever flip it and do the male version. Hello, Calvin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is Larry. <laughs> you Larry. know that girl that you love so much? <laughs> Ali. Are you? <laughs> I sent her to school. <laughs> oh, that was her son. Who? Who you think her son Julius named that? Oh, man. He said Julius. I brought her up here from Arkansas, and I'm not losing her to my son. <laughs> <laughs> I love her too much, man. I said I love her too much. I'm invested, man. I'm invested. We That's got fun. two babies. <laughs> I think I love that girl. <laughs> yeah. We're I'm the singing nigga. Have him call the, call the sad nigga. Call it the main nigga. The closest nigga to do that your boy Marvin C. Right? Oh, my God. No, the nigga called him. Oh, that's right. And the nigga talked to him for about five minutes and put the whole shit in the song. And then the nigga ended the call. If you can't keep your woman from me, hold up. Hey, just leave me alone. How you got that phone? He said, You mean to tell me you don't know my name? That nigga was hurt. The blues, bro. Man, that's why you got to do one. The blues, You man. got that sound. The blues. Hey, you said something before we even ran, and you were saying how people who have, you know, people who have some type of musicality in their family, mm -hmm. it make it easier for, like, the young people coming up because they can see somebody, what they were able to do with it man, and be around it. Man, just facts. My Uncle House, he was a lead singer in a band called Galactic. You hear him? He also was the judge in a new revised version of Dukes of Hazard. Oh, um, yeah, man. The guy, Yo, Uncle yeah. Cole was a motherfucker. Yeah, he was doing some things, and he was this cat, man, traveling with these these cats, man. He was 60. These guys, 23, 25, a band, you know, some new vibes and stuff, man. And um, it just made me prepare myself for just all kind of music, you know what I'm saying? Don't be closed out, you know what I'm saying? Because how you give it back out, it could not only, you could create something new, you could help somebody, you know what I'm saying? You could encourage somebody. You never know how it can go, you dig? Yeah. So, um, that's dope. Yeah, I'm thinking like, if you, I saw him, you dig? My daddy closed his barroom. He had, 
uh, let's say Harold Melvin in the Blue Nose. Let's say he had the Dome Patrol, the Saints. He had closed the bar, and these cats would come have their own little private after hours at Ricky's spot. It was called Mars Lounge, dude. And I was able to go see these cats, go get autographs and shit, you know, big Super Bowl rings on these boys' fingers or, or whatever that they was doing, you know what I'm saying, to, to identify that, oh, my God, that's somebody that succeeded, you know what I mean? I was able to see this in a bar room as a kid, you yeah. feel me? So that, to me, um, greater my chances on me being great because I saw something great. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. That's yeah. Cause so often, like you was, I think you were saying earlier, people don't see that. You just see what the fuck you see. Right? Yeah. And you see motherfuckers working in the hospital. You see motherfuckers working yeah, right. government jobs. You see, that's all you can see. But when you able to see something outside right, of right. it, like yeah. You think about it. You look in the mirror and you see yourself. You feel me? Male or female, you dig? How you, t- you gonna teach yourself how to be a man? But if you saw a good version of it, you'd be like, yeah, man, you know I'm thinking about being an astronaut, you dig? Shit, you know, yeah, my, yeah, man, my, 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 my old man, you dig? Yeah, yeah, astronaut and shit. Yeah, you yeah, know. We start going in space. <laughs> yeah, that shit yeah. on, bro. So that's a good something, like, you know what I'm saying? Because the most impressionable people in a young man's life, you dig, is most likely, you know, his grandfather, his coach at school, you dig, and maybe a teacher, you feel me? So these are people they can either gravitate to or they gonna hate you because however the the rapport is or the relationship, you know what I'm saying? Or coexisting or whatever y'all reason to be around each other. I saw people genuinely care about me and vibing, you know, breaking big ass weed grinders and shit, you know what I'm saying? My dad and my mom have a little parties over. My dad was celebrated and loved. You know, my right. dad was like Mufasa in my neighborhood, you feel Damn. me? Damn. Yeah. Like, yeah, so when I was born, shit was real in my neighborhood, in my village, it was like a prince being born. I had to accept this. I had to find out who I was. I wouldn't have known unless I saw my dad and how he was appreciated, loved. You know what I'm saying? My grandmother owned 90% of the block I stayed on. Right. Like some real estate shit. So I got a chance to see something a little different. I saw an interview on me on a docket series, no limit docket series. Dude asked me, yeah, man, so you know what you think you want to get out this music stuff, bro? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, family and money. I'm saying this at 1920. It ain't because of me, it's because I saw what was around me. So let me ask you this. Yeah. <clears throat> at what point did the family recognize that you were musically talented? And did they support you out the gate? Uh um, what was that moment? I'm my family was like, all right, he my got My brother and my mama, was, that was the people that was like, if this you want to do, damn it, you heard me? My brother used to come out from hustling, you feel me? And I'm 12 or 14, and he paid me $20 to make him a bowl of shit, man. Make me a bowl of shit, I gave you $20, hours, you feel me, man? You know, he been hustling all night. He sit down at the table, boy, I got my notebook, bust my notebook open, I'm running raps to that boy, you gonna get these raps, I'm gonna <laughs> get out of my bed, man, make me some eggs and rice, little bro, I got 20 hours for you. Yeah, 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 I'm gonna make them eggs and rice for you. I, 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 check this verse out right quick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so that was my a and cause he was, he was, he was, as Mia said, he was getting, the, getting out the crawfish mud, you know what I'm saying? Let me ask you this, mm-hmm. since you brought, you brought it up, when the last time just you was in the hood and a nigga ran up on you and beat on his chest and spit some cold ass shit? Yeah, the day. Cause it's a lot of niggas in <laughs> <laughs> a lot of niggas in Louisiana run up on you, just people up the music out, you heard me? And that's, just that's, that's that prison ass. shit. That's that prison yeah. shit, you heard me? That's that prison shit when you're in the studio and you, you just, you know what I'm saying? You, you know what I'm saying? You, you figuring out your rhythm, you know what I'm saying? Cats just running, holding each other yeah. down through this jokes, you feel me? Yeah. But that's crazy, you said the other day. Man, that's yeah. a nigga run up on you and hit you with a story so hard, you be like, I don't know. Mac, no, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're right, yeah. Some nigga be hitting himself too hard. Yeah. They, they, they ain't no breath. This nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got no breath to say the word, my nigga. Right, 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 right. right. <laughs> Not the wind out of you got to get a homeboy that can do the beat. Man, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you got you what you need. need. <laughs> You know the instrumental in the cop. Right, exactly. <laughs> man, just play that shit. Yeah, man. Real uh, shit. So Real when shit. you was spitting your verses to your brother, like he make you make the egg, give you the twenty dollars and shit. Mm-hmm. You spitting the verses, he mm-hmm. would be real. He would let you know what. Yeah, was. he. he so he, you was extra prepared. He wasn't putting no cut on it. You know what I mean? It was okay. about our life of what was going on. A little dude jumping off the porch. And I always made these verses in, in the thought of me and you. I ain't just judging you with eyes. I'm, if I'm telling you something, that should go for me too. Because I'm getting it out so I can hear. The best advice is for me is the right. I'm, advice I'm going to give to somebody. Because I'm really talking to my motherfucking self. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So the music was therapeutic. I was, you know, he was he was hearing it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you feel me? Shit was real. I remember my man Jewel, well, me and Julie got up 
at a at a <clears throat> at my cousin's spot, and he was telling me, man, yeah, I remember. So you just pull up at your cousin's house, juvenile over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we all got our own circle, just gentlemen. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna see each other at certain spots. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna always be. Let me catch up with you right quick. And we don't do as much music and stuff like that because we got other stuff that we do. You know, within our village and shit in the city, you know, saying so to keep our thing going. You said that shit so casually, though. Man, he said yeah, this is a whole, perfect, this is man. this is a media shit. I had to you stop, stupid. nigga. Cause you was just like, so I run by my cousin house, juvenile over there. Wait, what? Hold on, yeah. nigga. <laughs> What the fuck is juvenile right doing over your cousin house? Your cousin car. coming over here about the 20 years. <laughs> like, what was y'all doing? Now, don't just tell that story quick. You got stuck in the noise on New Year's Eve. Huh? Yeah, hey, Harvey. What the hell was He said, what the hell was We need a little bit of backdrop for, just for media purposes. <laughs> that was the media side. He getting it together, man. Because right. if I go with my yeah, cousin house and juvenile over there, I know they either own some, or own some. What the fuck is <laughs> <you> that? <laughs> That's real shit. That's <laughs> stupid. It was that stupid, man. That real shit. The details, sir. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but you answered it perfect. That that need to be how motherfuckers watch before they do Vlad and shit. Because you said we did things outside of work. I don't know how you said yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Everything that shit ain't for the sense. camera. Yeah. And everything that's yeah. for the camera yeah. is for the camera. You okay. Know? Yeah, I just feel like that's, you know. You gotta preserve when you know it's gold. You you really gotta preserve it. Yeah, cause you don't know yeah. how long the statute of limitations is. Ooh, no goddamn shit. Long. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, shit. Lord. With yeah, the tea yeah. on it. And it could have been a minor crime. Like, oh, nigga, man. we was selling me two puppies, we ain't had no papers on it. Right, right, right. <laughs> One of the puppies <laughs> said word. And nigga sold me two Rottweilers. <laughs> right. He said two Rottweilers. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No Couldn't make no pay. It was a Rottweiler pit mix. They were too big <laughs> to be in the state. That's all it was. It was <laughs> to be in the state. Wasn't none of that other shit y'all be thinking. You let your imagination run wild. <laughs> I ain't never seen a white pit, uh, white white Rottweiler. Nigga had sent me some beats. You know, I thought it was unique. I said, fuck it, I'm going to do Nigga it for the kids. You know what I'm saying? Daddy got your white Rottweiler. You ain't got, your friends ain't got these. You know what I'm saying? This is <laughs> a polar bear. This is a polar bear. You can, we can call them polar. Bird. I like the way you think. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I feel that. Like, selling polar Big bird. <laughs> you call them Big Bird. You stupid. Like, That's the crazy part. <laughs> Nigga would have a baby polar bear as a pet. And keep it. Somebody gonna Come do something, right? <laughs> Little ice bird. My bad. He like to maul people sometimes. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Stupid. That shit crazy. That's how. That's why we need. It's a limit on motherfuckers. Right. Man. Like that tiger cage shit, nigga. If black people could get the animals we wanted. Oh. Oh, don't try to sit there and act like it's with niggas who ain't got a bunch of shit. They I know. You ever, you ever been to somebody's crib and you like, nigga, you're not supposed to have this. <laughs> like, nigga, this is a, this yeah. is a marsupial, my nigga. Yeah, this yeah. shit, marsupial. what is doing up there? Like, right, right. <laughs> nigga, yeah, motherfuckers got some weird shit out here. Area 51. Nick. On pizza. <laughs> <laughs> At the homie apartment. Man. In the crib. Yeah, man. I just got this bigger loft because I figured this elephant was going to be comfortable in the parking lot. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't know if this is the right time to bring this shit up, but it's a couple people. I seen them on Instagram. They had a monkey, nigga. Monkey? Niggas had some monkeys. A monkey. D Detroit <laughs> bad niggas, niggas had some monkeys. Plural. Niggas, it was two Seven of them. monkeys. Because you can't buy one monkey by itself. Oh, you need somebody to talk to. <laughs> you buy one monkey, he'd be depressed. Have you seen this new, have you two. Seen this new clip of this monkey? Two this monkeys. man petting this big ass chip. The chimp got mad, snatched this nigga whole scalp off. I'm talking about. Whoa. The shit was so, he took a chunk out of this nigga strong. head. It didn't even bleed. The shit was so raw. So clean. You don't need that. Oh. Snatched the whole shit off. That shit sound Him like and the monkey was bro. having words, and the monkey was like, whoa. What? And he kind of did like a monkey move, what? and he, ran, he kind of like ran up this arm and around this part, but then he just like kind of reached down and snatched that shit off. Oh, shit. And then threw it. And threw like, it. Ah. Monkey shit. Right. <laughs> right. Like, this is the type of shit we do, but we don't. We be letting y'all bitch ass humans make right, it. Right, 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 right. On some real monkey shit. On some real monkey shit, shit. <laughs> right. It was like, look at me. Right. Didn't nobody else do this to you? <laughs> I did this to you. He whispered it in his ear. Like the you don't need this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's on the hold by two dollars. Yeah, she was on the Oh man. Oh, that was the only reason he did. I'm talking about hey, man, research department. See if you can find that video. I wonder was it like a two way <laughs> monkey snatched like that nigga's scalp off. Because if he snatched the ear, me like straight scalp, like scalp the boy. What do you see it? I got, they're gonna bring it. It's oh, coming. That's took good. that shit to another level. 
You ain't seen no shit this fucked up. Yeah, he about to take Nair out of business. Them shit strong as shit, Nigga, to the brain part. <laughs> to the brain part. Nigga, snatch this shit and throw it down. The hell was still done. He was posing right there on the spot. He was supposed to pull out a grenade launcher and stand over. He couldn't believe the shit. He was just another one. Who the dude? Remember he had two. The dude got his scalpel. You know what I mean? Did he do it like he lost his wig? He couldn't believe it. I'm not even going to read it. I know it's gone. I'm going to read it. He's looking at it. That nigga picked it up and put it in the He ain't do this yet? That's how that's how the shit We gotta put it back up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna need some staples. <laughs> got the he got to talk to somebody. Yeah, man. that's funny. That's oh, crazy man. as hell. Man. So what? yeah, so don't just keep your monkey count down if y'all buying monkeys out there. No, nah, man. <laughs> but I'm just saying, <laughs> niggas, it's, it's, niggas got monkey. some exotic shit out here. Right. Times have changed. Bitcoin went up. Hold up, niggas. Bitcoin they, going up, so you saying Bitcoin going up, so they got somebody out there want to be uh, the Tiger King. Nah, I ain't, Montana? I'm, I'm not saying this. Montana buying little baby giraffes and shit, bro. Yeah, you better put that giraffe. shit back. You got nigga, all put it back. I don't know what he's saying. Well, see, he get a pass, though, because if you get into the technicalities of the technical shit, he's he African. So what that mean? I that mean that he has what they call it, he has an affinity <laughs> for animals. Mm. <laughs> that might not even be the right shit, but it fit right there. It definitely fit right. Yeah. Syllables and all. All that shit. You heard me? So I concur. <laughs> he has the soft he spot has the for wildlife. Of wildlife. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, fit, yeah. Yeah. That's wild, though. He's gifting a girl a baby fucking hippo. Right. You know what I'm saying? Look, I think about you. You heard me? I think you know you're a real little chick. You heard me? You out here doing your thing? You my little yeah. I fucks with you. So look, here go baby hippo. I love you. Yeah. And then From she's so you. in love with the hippo. She gonna accept it. Put not it on the knowing leash. that she Put don't even have proper spacing no. to raise this little hippo. She don't care. You gave that to her. White. She gonna show you, wifey. Damn. So these bitches be having trouble with the little dogs. <laughs> I be like, why your house smell like this, bitch? This shit crazy. This I'll little dog a hippo in my bathroom. In bathroom. I got a baby hippo on a leash. Yeah, they go to the club every night. All right, we, I gotta get some more of this story. We gotta get some so of this what all we these stories. This is what we had so far. Yeah, yeah. You grew up four houses down the street from where the bouncer music created. True. Your brother believed me, y'all already off the rip, cooking right. eggs and rice and all this right. type of shit. Still in the hood listening to niggas spit hot ass raps. Yeah. Where we at? Where we at is um, um, my brother moves out and uh, my mom gave him an ultimatum. You dig? You, you can't stay here while you're doing this or whatever. And he said, well, fuck it, you know. And he moved out. And uh, not long after he moved out, <clears throat> he ended up passing away on his birthday in a car accident. Damn. So I told myself, I went through the whole stage of, you know, tattooing your people name on you, going through life, you know what I'm saying? Accepting it, little doing things to move forward. And I used that and encouraged me to just go get it. You know what I'm saying? The last thing I talked to him was doing music. So he had talked to some cats locally about getting me in the studio, teaching me how to count bars. And if you could, get my little brother in the studio with y'all. Let him learn something, you dig? You know, it's cool, I'll pay you, whatever. So he passed away, and it's like, my, so I'm trying to tell you, I, got a, I, I grew up in a village. This dude, these people came out in droves to assist me, to, to help me heal, to help me grow, bro. These mother, our fucking village showed up, fam. You heard me, ex-girlfriend. You know, let me take you on campus over here. Let me show you what it's like to be on a college campus. You heard me months after he passed away, everybody pitched in, bro. Hey, man, your brother was talking to me about you going to the studio, man. Like, you know, we want to set something up with your mama. Let you come see how it go down. You, can, you know what I'm saying? Everybody pitched in, man. Damn. And I, it, I, you heard me? Let me put you on your first song. <clears throat> You know what I'm saying? Black Minutes. Let me, I, you know, without really knowing what happened to be 16, that's what happened. And I was able to have a supporting cast to help me turn a negative into a, a growing experience. You know what I'm saying? Because time don't heal, everything can heal something. Right. You dig? So yeah, man, it made me go done with it on the music, man. I just couldn't help but talk about life experiences. It was therapeutic. I got with uh, some local cats, Moosa, Devious, got in the studio, recorded, vibed out, vibed out, got a chance to do an intro for uh, the local radio station. Just, Hyping up the local DJ, this such and such, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He play your shit, the city, the neighborhood, everybody hear your shit. Yo, I heard your boy on, he was on yeah, the radio, what yeah. the fuck are you know what I'm saying? Man, look, they, they played that shit on the radio, 
like on a Wednesday, Thursday, this record company heard me. What was your first shit you got on the radio? Uh, the Batters and Meth Alive. Well, that was an intro to a local DJ's show before he came on, <clears throat> on, 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 on for his hours and stuff. He did. But that was my first, but my first. So this thing, was something they was running. This was something they was running. So this is you stepping outside the neighborhood to the city. Man, the people was like, oh, like, you know, they liked it. The intro, they, it was like, I can't wait to hear the intro. You know what I'm saying? I had like a little something I said in the end of being like a tag or a chorus or however the people to, to identify me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that <laughs> shit was up, fam. Like I told you, they played it Wednesday. Thursday, this record coming to her. It Friday, I recorded the Batters and Meth Alive. Saturday, I signed with Big Boy Records. God damn. He had a hell of a week. Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. going to yeah. just tell you, nigga, yeah. fuck all the other. That was a hell of a week. Yeah, and bro. black men don't get to have hey, weeks like bro. that. I'm that's, 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 nigga, run that one more time. Yeah, yeah. Like, I got with Devious, Mello, Musha, and we worked on an intro. Wild Wayne was like, I'm going to play your stuff. You know, if it's dope. If it's dope. If it's dope. Fiend, I, I play your shit. You say you got to. I ain't really got time, man. Let me go ahead and be clear, man. Check this out. If you looking for a good place, man, that have fresh food, deliver on time, and give back to the community, nigga, Hello Fresh <laughs> offer so many recipes to choose from each week to help you break out of your recipe route, including low low calorie, vegetarian, and family friendly recipes every week. You know, cause I got a second baby. You dig? So I got to have somebody who gonna bring the food fresh. I'm talking about on time and it's already prepped up. So when I cut it out and put it on the stove, my, my, I mean, it take me about 15 minutes. Hey man, anybody out there like saving money, you like discounts? Well, guess what? You can save up to 28% by using HelloFresh versus your grocery store shopping trip. HelloFresh offers fresh, high quality ingredients every week for a super flavorful experience. So what I'm trying to tell you is, make sure you go to hellofresh.com slash 85south80, and you know what? I told you to get back. On your first meal at hellofresh.com, you know what we gonna do? We gonna take off $80. Yes, sir. So make sure you go to hellofresh.com slash 85south80, to get that discount. Don't worry about it. Don't trip. Cause HelloFresh be cutting out all the stress for meals, planning and grocery store trips, so you can enjoy cooking and get to the dinner, all right? So go on and get your cook on. Make sure you go to HelloFresh.com slash 85 South 80 to get $80 off your first, your first meal. And guess what? Included your free shipping. Oh no, we oh we gonna make sure it's free. Oh, yeah, we're going to make sure it's free, but you know what? Restrictions apply. So make sure you go to HelloFresh.com and figure it out. Hey, man, it's Clayton Angler. And with today's low interest rates, it's a great time to refinance your student loan. You don't want that over your head. You got student loans and you're not a student no more. <laughs> Tell them to leave you alone. You dig, all right? You got a loan, you want to be left alone? Talk to Ernest Refinance, okay? Ernest offers low-rate student loan refinancing, and you can check your rate risk-free in just two minutes. With Ernest, you get radically flexible payments, and you can pick your loan term. By refinancing, you can reduce your loan term, save money, or combine multiple loans into a simple monthly payment. And if you have questions, you can even talk to a real live human at Ernest for help. Wow. Student debt, yeah. you, you, you still owe for some shit you learned? Did you use the shit you learned? You don't want, look, you need you need to settle that debt. You need you need to settle it. Cause they'll take what you give them. You just need somebody in your corner. They not gonna listen to you. <laughs> they not. I done tried it. Look, talk to Ernest Student Loan Refinancing. They're gonna get you straight, they're gonna get you situated, they're gonna get it whittled down. Cause you know, you wasn't even going to class like that. Not really. You was out there, you was in the mix. You was bopping. You know how you was doing? Every night, you was somewhere, parking lot pimping. Couldn't get in, but you was out there. Call Ernest, tell him Vern sent you. <laughs> they gonna know what you talking about. They might hang up on you the first time. All right, but then call him back and say, 85 South Show sent you, okay? And they gonna know. Matter of fact, just go on there. They giving a $100 bonus 
refinance your student loans at earnest.com slash 85 South Show. Earnest.com slash 85 South Show. I said they give you a $100 bonus. They want me to say it three times. So $100 bonus, $100 bonus, $100 bonus is what they give in. Visit earnest.com slash 85 South for more details. Terms and conditions apply. Earnest student loan refinancing made by Earnest Operations, LLC. NMLS number 1204917. California financing law license number 6054788. 303 2nd Street, Suite 401 North, San Francisco, California, 94107. Visit earnest.com licenses for a full list of licenses. Man, Devious cooked up a beat with him and his people. We got Devious in our house. Yeah, 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 right? <laughs> yeah, man, same, the same cat. You heard me? That's my brother hollered these dudes to, to take me under their wing. You feel me? He cooked up a beat. I rapped on that thing. They recorded it, mixed it, gave it to the radio. They put on a tour. Tuesday, Wednesday, they played it. Thursday, Big Boy Records heard it. Friday, I was recording the baddest motherfucking live, which was Sporty T's track. They gave it to me. And Saturday, I was signed recording a, a video commercial for the box to promote my new single, The Baddest Motherfucker Alive. Man, nah, get that up, week. man. Ooh. We gotta give up. That guy. Yeah, man. Damn. Yeah, yeah. That's one of them. All right, man. Yeah, yeah. That's a run in a week. Just by hearing you say that, Baddest Motherfucker Alive hit totally different now. The first single, I, I remixed it for Dez when they're family. I, without, you know what I'm saying? Without messing up my thing on my previous label and stuff. I, that was my single, so I was like, this, a, this is just a little blessing. I, oh man, you need to do that record, you need to do And I use LL, I'm bad. That's what made it hit even more home. See, it hit to the world right quick, dropping on the records like, oh, okay, that's how you feel. But to my city, that shit was like, what the fuck? Yeah. This motherfucker had audacity to take the single, we, we love it, and we, you know? So that was a good catapult for my career. You hear me? The fast forward to Don't Fuck Around on, on Body Soundtrack, was <clears> that <throat> was knocked me out the park. Yeah. You hear me? And everything I'm talking about, it just, it just was what it was. That was Would you say your experience at Big Boy Record uh, it got you ready for No Limit? Yeah, 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 man. Like, it's all experiences on what you're going to do with it. You know what I'm saying? A good soldier prepares for war during a time of peace. That's what they do. You know what I'm saying? So I was with these labels and I used to, I'm a Taurus, you know what I mean? I, you know, everybody, I'm not a big astrologist person, but I just know where I'm from. Like we may, we believe in, we run off of certain things, you feel me? And I, I, I saw my brother hustling, you dig? Right. I, I seen who he run with, who he don't run with, who he run with, who he's not running with no more. So I used to get more attached to working with people you know, I love working with you and want to do this and make some money more than I couldn't move forward to continue to keep going. Because I kept going, that's what made, I guess that's what I was meant to do is to keep going. Because I worked with a gang of motherfucking artists. I'd have been on everybody label, right. been able to be a bridge to get on everybody label, have the same respect, you know, to fast forward, to come back to say, it was just meant. Big Boy Records, bloom, okay. I got with a label, an indie label that wanted to get in the music business. And they was like, yeah, we're gonna fuck with you. You hear me? We're gonna, we're gonna move past that. You're already successful locally. Man, if we can get you with a big name, man, we, we both gonna win, you hear me? Here comes No Limit Records. And um, I was already fucking with Kane and they, we already with Jam, you hear me? We, we, we brothers, we working, we recording. They was signed to two Accountants that started a record company in New Orleans. What? Brothers. So I'm saying I was seeing some fly <laughs> shit. Hey, hey, how does you know men accountants got shell that's accounts? That's a cold and shit. ass story. You so, get, look that yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm telling you, like I'm, I'm, I was, I got a chance to be on the block <laughs> in a neighborhood. That's your environment and shit. But I got a chance to go with, you know, having some type of uh, restraint and your people raise your right a little bit to go places and be around some <clears> big <throat> shit. You can move anywhere. Oh man, and my pen got me in most rooms that people wouldn't fathom. You know, my pen, you know, my blessing to just want to be water and music, just play my part as an instrument where I am needed to be an attribute. Right. That's my biggest meaning in music, whether it's a feeling, whether it's to get something out, whether it's to give you the, the confidence to know you need to activate your superhero in you, or whether it's the, the guts, the fucking balls to do this shit, because it's America, bro, and shit don't get real. You I feel me? Speak on it. That's, so that's, that's, that's where my music come from. That's what I saw. That's what I saw. I saw my brother come in 
And, oh, mom, uh, make me a plate of spaghetti. And he take a fucking Mac 11 with great duct tape on another tip clip uh, to that bit so when you could pop out and just hurry and flip that mother. You know what I'm saying? Cats was figuring it out themselves. So, you know, a gangster lifestyle wasn't pushed in my face, but it definitely was on my front porch. You heard me? So that's, that's why I am. You heard me? Like, I'm, I be, I'm just happy to be here in different eras because I'm meant to be here. You heard me? And then I, I would have <clears> never <throat> known it was meant for me to do the shit. It's meant for me to do this shit. My first words on a real single for myself, the baddest motherfucker was live, was all follow me. Word on the street, I got a quarter key. Try to get rid of me with the lowest bidder. No half shit, bitch, I won't be tossed. Kevin left me with instructions on how being the boss. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's my brother. I got a chance to see my brother defend me on the block when some older cat tried to disrespect me and hit me and shit. I'm a little dude, motherfucker, that hurt, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I go inside. How old you was? I was like 12, man. Hey, you heard me? We just moved. My mom and my dad wasn't seeing eye to eye. My mom, you know, she took me and my brother moved with our twin. You heard me? And I got a whole new life uptown. Now I'm in the third world. You heard me? You know, born in Hollygrove. I'm a fucking king in Hollygrove. It's, it's my heritage, you feel me? I knew this, bro. My dad used to talk to me like a grown fucking man. I'm right. eight years old. Well, you know, you got to get your residuals together. You know what residuals is? You know what I'm saying? I just had it, like, early. Man. And I grew up fast around grown-ups. I ran with my daddy, his people and shit. So I just, my partners, it was cool to hang out, but I'd be like, man. Too slow. Too slow. My daddy was putting it down, giving me real game, man, for me to pick up. He was like, man, you, man, boy, Rick, I'm going to start traveling with you. I had my dad, I lost my brother, but I had my dad, and me and my daddy reunited our relationship after me and him, and my mama had uh, separated, you hear me? But back to my brother, yeah, 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 so, you know, the traditional story, you know, the kid, somebody looks out for you, and they come help, you know, stand in for you, like, if you're getting bullied or some shit. Right. I saw my brother do that for me one time, for real, dog. Like, for real, my brother, dog, like somebody hit a little kid, a grown-ass dude, you know what I mean? I go inside, he read me and be like, what's wrong with you? I'm like, man, it's all good. Man, what's wrong with you, bro? We new around here, just spit this shit out. I'm like, this older cat, you know, he hit me, dog. Like, and, you, know, I, I, you know, I put my set up, I could just see me get my ass whooped. And this not being right, he's an older, he's a fucking man. Yeah, I'm a little boy, you know what I mean? He was like, yeah, um, um, hold on. He slid the shorts on. I never forget this. You remember? I'm 12. My brother's 16. Khaki shorts, no shirt, white belt, and red sock hats. Put on his Jordans. He walked me. Took my my hand. Took me down the street. He see walked me. He's like, yeah, man. Look. Um, yeah. When we get here, just show me who it is, and we, you know, we go from there. You know, I get on the corner. He said, yeah. So, um, which one of these dudes put his hand on you? I said, it's that guy right there. He's like, look, you dig? We new around here. You heard me? You don't know me. I don't know you. You're miss my little brother. You're gonna keep your fucking hands off him. You dig? And we're gonna leave it like that. Or you could be a man and you're gonna catch the street with me and we're gonna level this shit out as men. You dig? And I was like looking at him, I'm like, yeah, yeah, Fife, yeah, dog, yeah, 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 boy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I get to see my fucking brother, you heard me? So I saw a difference path right. to get me here. My music, I could hear it, man. Street saying, see, if I'm talking about some real shit, I'm talking about some real shit. I've been kidnapped, you feel me? I'm talking about some real shit. The music allowed me to be therapeutic. My first verse on somebody project, I'm talking about my loss, my brother. My first verse, you know, like, you know, to be on someone's recorded album, I just been dealing with trauma all my life. Like anybody that looked like me, that, that carried them to yourself yeah. a lot. And I was able to turn a negative into positive. I was able to make an honor palm out of lemons, you feel me? And that's what my music got, that's who I am, you feel me? In every era, whether it was the 90s, the 2000s, I learned that about myself. I learned what my frequency could do. I could tell building down with my voice, with my energy, you know what I'm saying? I could make men gather together right now and storm a fucking building with my energy, with my electricity and my music, you feel me? So I had to learn how to use my fucking superpower before I destroy us too, you know what I'm saying? At the same time, being followed by fears and shit like that to think you got too much motherfucking money to be looking like you look. My life, you know what I'm saying? I just kept one foot after the other. I've been broke, I've been homeless for a little bit and I got it back together. I've been in bad relationships when every time I got with that fucking girl, I'm on my ass. Every time she left, bitch, I'm up. She bad luck, bro. Hey, man. Right. Hey, right. hey, right. hey, 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 hey. I've been there. Hey, 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 hey. Look. Hey, hey. Respectfully. 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 <laughs> respectfully. I'm not even going to do that to this baby. You're it right. just didn't go, baby. And you needed to know the difference from what that is and wherever you're going to be. 
It was a time season and a reason. You feel me? I keep yeah. trying to make this yeah. lock up, man. You keep trying to make it lock up. It was soft. Nigga, accept it. You feel me? Because you're about to destroy yourself, boy. <laughs> man. You're going to destroy yourself, boy. You're speaking to me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like you holding a mirror to my life. I'm he told you when I'm he talking bridge. to him, I'm a he bridge. talking to you. I'm a bridge. It's love. 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 He crazy. <laughs> Your daddy crazy. You, you know what I'm saying? Everything. I, everything, bro. Everything. I had to fall in love with me, man. Yeah. To be like, man, I'm not about to let you risk me, man. My partner went to jail, bro, for, for, for murder. For 30 years for murder, he did not commit. On the same night, his mama asked me to come to the club and perform where he was at. I had a newborn. Nobody but God be like, man, let me take this remote control. Boy, you about to fuck your life up, man. You know what I'm saying? Boy, you about to go in the tunnel. Boy, you about to fuck your shit up, boy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. God, you, know I mean? you feel me? I, look, ma'am, I'd rather come on another night for free than come tonight for what you offer financially. I have a newborn at home and my old lady, and I just, I just need to be here. I go, I get up the next day, 10 o'clock in the morning, Mac on the news, getting arrested for murder. The same night. I just was watching. I just was watching. And, and, you know, let me keep it 1,000 with you. I ain't no preacher. I'm a reacher. I ain't going to be getting all that, you know, wet a white collar and all that. I'm just I do. vibing. Yeah, yeah. Ow! Oh, you know, I've, you know, I've been selected. Okay, yeah, yeah. Right. Paperwork the, fish. The pulpit. Come on now. He said, come on now. Reverend Minister. Reverend, come on. Yeah. You know, free all those. Free the- <laughs> who need be, you know, who need to be free right who now. Who need to be free. Because what you're speaking on is some real shit, man. A lot of, you know. A lot of the audience that watch our show digital, you know, on the digital side, mm-hmm, they may mm-hmm. not, they may not know what exactly you speaking on. Oh, oh, they tried to throw me away. I went to jail in New York. Oh, they had me. They was, oh, oh, they gonna make an example out of me. Yeah. They, oh, they had me. I went. To, I've been to jail more motherfucking time than law law. You heard me? I learned never to go on I twenty coming to Atlanta. You will go to jail. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if you, you know, if you a headline off or something of the regular programming, you will go to jail. Yeah, you got to mind your P's and Q's. Yeah, you know hear I me? Mean? I've never been to prison, but I've been to jail. Yeah. You hear know I me? Mean? I never called my mama from the jail cell yet. You hear know I me? Mean? That's a law I'm from, too. I hope some cats could just gravitate toward that. What am I bother her for? She ain't get me in this shit. Man, yeah. no. You know hear I me? Mean? I never called my mama from jail, you hear know I me? Mean? And I ain't bragging on that. I'm saying, like, that's what, what respect is. Man, we got to respect our women. We got to respect our mamas, you hear me? Yeah. We got to be keep it thorough with each other because it's on us now. The most gangly shit you can do is man up and realize ain't but one of you in the world. You know, not, not, not find somebody to jail with me crack. You feel me? That's where I'm at. That's why I'm happy to be here because I know, like, it, it's, it's up. You feel me? Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a bridge. And I knew a lot of brothers out here winning and we was going to be even bigger. You heard me? Yeah. And I fucked with you. I saw you on Twitter. I was like, man, this is just real. I was, I was just watching some shit. I said, homie, wow. I said, my Twitter, my Twitter, I said, wow. My Twitter fucked up. I, 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 like, your, I like your Twitter because your Twitter's off the hill. I say some real shit. Then I'm, I say, <laughs> <laughs> say some real shit. Then I might retweet a titty. I've been mean, I mean, trying hey, to live in the righteousness, hey, but it's rolled up with hey, a titty. That man. Is righteousness. That's the reality of life. I have, you got to see the shit I be saying, though, because if I just write it, you ain't going to believe it. And then when you see what I'm talking about, you be like, oh, my God. Yeah. Y'all remember when I was talking about how white people dogs can do everything? Everything. Yeah. Okay, so check this out. It's this video of this white man, and he cleaning off some shit off the roof. <laughs> nigga, why the dog walk up there and check on the nigga to make sure he was okay? <laughs> exactly. Man, how the fuck you gonna get down now? But that's what I'm saying. Your black ass dog, dog wouldn't have came up there. The dog yeah. gonna get him down. Man, the dog walked up the ladder. Are you okay, bro? <laughs> Just seeing what you had going on. I seen some cats train pit bulls like that in the hood. That used to fascinate me too. You know, be able to make pit bulls do some shit, climb fence, buy wire oh, yeah, fences and climb shit. All type of shit. Yeah. Trees. Yeah. Yeah. They're the Houdinis of the backyard. The only dog that could disappear on your ass in the yard. You, they they call the Houdinis of the dog world. Black people, we just be impressed that our dog respond to the name that we call. Them. <laughs> 
<laughs> laughing there. We ain't tapped into none of this dog's potential. Right. The white At people all. that had this dog for? before you sent this motherfucker to college. This dog speak German. <laughs> he eat peppermints. He, 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 he's a forward thinker. This dog can write his name and save some motherfuckers from mm-hmm. avalanche. And register the vote. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> the dog got a birth certificate. Dog got a birth certificate. The white people yeah. gave it to you when you bought it. Dog got ideas. Exactly. <laughs> you know, if you get gas on uh, on Capital, it's it's twenty cents cheaper. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You bought the dog. The dog fit the kid. The dog do all kind of shit. You bragging on you shit. You bragging That's that he answered a job. You know my dog don't shit in the house. Yeah, I went to college in Germany. <laughs> <laughs> I don't shit around you filthy human. The dog speaks. <laughs> that motherfucker flushed the toilet. But he don't talk. Yeah. <laughs> What hey. the fuck is you doing? Hey, Fogiano. The dog has Bitcoin. <laughs> you know what I'm Stock tips. Insurance. Life insurance. Life insurance. Shit ain't nobody else in the house. Got. The dog can sniff, sniff bullshit from your opponent. You know what I'm saying? Nobody, you know? yeah. Nobody down if it ain't going to do shit now. Nah, you better good. get you one. Something's going to do something. Yeah, something. Thing. What was your introduction to No Limit? My introduction to No Limit was my bro Damon stayed up the street on South. On Galveston, on Damien went to the bay and he got on Master P No Limit Records and Damien came back with uh, No Limit Records like I think 99 Ways to Die, some other releases on P, you heard me? And uh, I remember going to uh, Riverboat Hallelujah, you heard me? This is going whack, 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 the people in the city in New Orleans because it's going to take them back. Riverboat Hallelujah, Master P was in there performing with his artists, which was now alongside Mia X and other people like, you know, TRU. Corey Miller, Silk Shock, you heard me? So I was, I remember being in line because Damien fucks with Master P, you heard me? I'm still like, I haven't totally grasped, you know, gravitated towards the music, you heard me? But I fuck with my brother, I'm going to the concert with him, you heard me? Yeah. Man, I remember going by a CD and a cassette from Master P. He was on like, on the other side of a table like this, he had CDs, cassettes, he was standing behind that bitch, you heard me, while other people was performing off his label. Selling the CDs and the cassettes. I was like, man, yeah, let me get that Mia X, you heard me? And um, this you right here, let me get this uh, 99 Ways to Die. You know what I'm saying? Bought that shit, you heard me? And I was fucking with him then. You heard me? I mean, talk, like, I'm talking to you. You heard me? And then eventually get, got with him through Mia X, getting me and Mac to come out there and record on some music with her. She like discovered us, like, it was on some mafia shit. Mm. Walking and swagman, buying groceries and shit to cook food, and she sent this cat. Uh, we called Bush to come get me, come meet her in the grocery store and shit. She shopping. Y'all met in the grocery store? Yeah, the grocery yeah, store. yeah. He said she got the crazy She was food. making yeah. groceries? Yeah, yeah instantly. <laughs> she was making groceries. Yeah. <laughs> and that's, that's yeah. crazy. To, to, to put in the pot and burl something later. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You heard me? So yeah, man, she buying, she looking through, you know, cabbage and shit. She looking through shit. And home introduces, you heard me? And we just instantly hit it off. And she was like, I want to get you and I want to put you on a song. This artist by the name of Mac on my album. You know, we're going out there to Baton Rouge because that's where the, um, you can say like the headquarters and No Limit Records and moved to Baton Rouge from off the West Coast. Went up there, recorded the joint. It's love. She fucked with it. You heard me? It was cool. You heard me? And then uh, Kenny Abel got me on something on their project because they ended up doing a three way deal with, um, no Limit Records with the company that they was previously signed to, you dig? And uh, that was another visit. And then uh, I went up there with KL one day. KL, you know, one of the guys from Beats by the Pound was like, just come with me to the studio, man. You know, I fuck with you, bro. I think we need you there, you feel me? Just just come with me. You hear me? I'm like, all right, K. He been around the corner the whole time. We ain't never link up. That boy, like, six blocks away, you know what I'm saying, from where my mom had moved us to, right? Beats by the Pound, six blocks away, bro. You know what I'm saying? Walking distance. Walking distance. I'm already jamming this shit on cassette, three nine posse. Got what it takes to make it. That's how you was jamming. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I'm just this in the neighborhood. That's right. how we used to fuck with cats locally, most wanted posse and shit like that. And eventually I went out there, man, I'll never forget this man. P walked in the office. This is like, let's say this is a small office unit. And over there is Studio A, where I'm at is Studio B. Enters, uh, Master P walks in, he comes in, you care, you feel me? I'm, I'm just, yeah, 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 in motion, right? Oh, he, hey, he comes in, he said, care. Oh, what's up, P? Care, 
care. What's up? Let me holler at you. You get up, you go in the room, close the door. You turn to me, I'll be right back. <laughs> no, these niggas good, Pete. I know you yeah, know yeah, these niggas. Yeah, yeah. Man, they ain't gonna split, bro. Right. He bro, goes you think I'm gonna have any nigga yeah, around yeah, your yeah, shit, bro? Yeah, right, right. Yeah, 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 look, 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 I'm like, say, look, look. Nah, it's cool, bro, it's cool. <laughs> nah, it's cool, he says, he's, he wanted y'all to come. Boy, it's like you was there. Look, <laughs> you was there. Yeah, you was there. He yeah, was there. He was there. He was there. Nah, he was there. Nah. You was there. You had to be there. Yeah, he you had to be there. That was that. He said, appreciate y'all coming through. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> look, no, you heard it going down over there. He was like, yeah. <laughs> I told you I patted them down, bro. <laughs> yeah, you stupid, They bro. ain't bring shit in here. Nobody got no guns in your shit. Right. That's what it was. Bro, I know where he from, bro. I know you. <laughs> you don't know him. I know him. Right. right. Real shit. The nigga stay six blocks from me. <laughs> six blocks, dog. I can see this nigga out in my yard. <laughs> His mama made red beans come on Monday. Come on, man. Yeah. Your daddy got the motherfucking club. How the niggas be through that? <laughs> Why you acting like this, Pete? <laughs> Where that weed at? Where that weed at? Go eat some more weed. Yeah. No, no. Oh, dog. Listen. Weed is gone. You no, would have thought you no, was man. there. Oh, uh, love. You would have thought you was there. Because, you know, he expressed himself. He was on some, you know, he had a small company. He went about strangers. I respected that. But boy, I was like in the next room, like, oh man, maybe I should have came out. Shit, man. Yeah, but that's what it was. He come back, yeah, man, nah, man, shit cool. Uh, uh, it's, uh, we, uh, we, we good. Uh, we cool, man. Uh, it's, it's straight. You know what I mean? And we just went to work in. And nah, kept... somebody, nah, I wouldn't y'all. Yeah. They smoked a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga seen the cigarette, man. That's yeah, the GPC. The, the GPC, fuck. it ain't cool. That's why I smell it different. Uh, he, he mad about some other shit. <laughs> hey, moms don't really like me loaning my bike out. <laughs> hey, man, can y'all, can, hey, who, who, uh, which one of y'all drove? Just pull your car. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. He's just yeah, on the That's real. I'm just gonna just need y'all to pull, pull up. Pull in the, the gate. Yeah. He don't like motherfucking parking on the street. I don't know who parking down Right. Yeah, just pull it in the gate. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. Oh, Shout shit. out to the host for having this um, this King Louis on deck. Already on, preached man. up. It's nothing the road. but the best for our guests. You know, what I'm saying? you know, you come over here at the 85 South show. You know, your family. I'm a connoisseur of fine cannabis, and uh, judged the cup with uh, Spitter. Corner yeah. Boy P and Musa in 2010 oh, like yeah. in Amsterdam. Yeah, shout out to Spitter and yeah, shout out. P and the whole life. Jet Life, life. squad. Life. And yeah, man. We can't even go there no more. Why not? Amsterdam? Yeah, we don't have to. We live in America. Yeah, we <laughs> did. Guess what? This is pretty Amsterdam. We are even now. Am yeah. Amsterdam, <laughs> Amsterdam. I'm not about to fly to nowhere to smoke weed I got at home. Right, he's at home. Motherfuckers <laughs> <laughs> is going crazy with these weeds now. Amsterdam ain't got the better bud anyway. Yeah. I bet. The places where white people live, that's where the good weed at. Oregon, Cali, Colorado, Montana. That's the best ones? Yeah, well, as far as my travels. Denver. Damn. Yeah, Colorado, California, yeah. Oregon, Montana. We well, gotta start growing our own shit. Now. Now I got it. It's, oh, it's too much work for me. The soil. It's, the, it's the soil. You get the right dirt. It's the soil. It's, it's, it's the dirt from? It, uh, yeah, it's I ocean grown. I just want to smoke it. OG, ocean. it's ocean grown. That soil being by the ocean makes that shit just something spectacular. Oh. Yeah, man. So put some sea salt. Who? <laughs> that shit gonna die. Put some sea salt in there, man. Put that bitch in there. Oh, Two swan. weeks later, your weed swan. fucked up. Right. <laughs> Shit shriveled up in the motherfucker. Like, oh, right. <laughs> See, ocean water? You got to roll it. You got to break water. down the blunt and then put it on the table and <laughs> slap it. <laughs> then take a scraper, scrape it off the table and flip it <laughs> over. And put it in there, wrap it around. Then take one finger and do like this. <laughs> Ooh. That boy said swan. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm, that's this ain't drag. <laughs> Can't plant no weed in there. Then you gotta put that bitch on the floor and make sure right. it roll. Pick it up. 
Man. Try it out some more. Easy. Flick of the real. Yeah, man. Oh, so, man. So you get in the studio, everything cool. After all of this commotion. Shit, yeah. Because somebody left a cigarette <laughs> and didn't pull the car. Motherfucker was smoking cigarettes and shit. <clears throat> The motherfucker keep probably kept popping in. Do you I mean, know who's smoking cigarettes? It was probably it was, it ain't no telling who said. It was a lot of niggas around, ain't no telling whose cigarette it was. <laughs> it's stupid. So that that shit, I won't hit the rest, cause this shit is finna. This shit is like, I ain't never heard none of this shit. Yeah, it, it was Have just. Have you told you know, these shits before? I mean one, I mean here and there, you know what I'm saying? But y'all, y'all getting right now in real time, like, you know, members that I know I ain't touched. The hell nowhere too. That's you know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Real shit. Yeah. Real shit. The studio was a whole vibe. I just end up um end up getting an investor that wanted to um they had we had common goals and we was able to move on some shit. And um what happened was um I got with no limit on a third party deal at first. I walked in there with a bag, you know what I'm saying, with the people, you know what I'm saying, that we, we made up our minds we were gonna move forward on this fiend project to the world. Man. And God with no limit, we came up to an agreement on something and I turned in Don't Fuck Around, produced by KLC. And the rest was just history, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, to me, it felt like it happened again. Like, I heard on the radio, writing that song, did that, right? And then it's like, I got a chance to do this and it got prime real estate in this movie. Uh, Body, Body Urban. And it just was huge, play, a huge placement, number seven on the soundtrack. Yeah. I just had proper <clears throat> product placement. There you go. You know what I'm saying? Being about the business, you know I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just smoked all that. I know sure. I'm, I'm hiding in a clown sure. hat. He's Man. a clown hat. <laughs> 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 yeah, he's stupid. I'm too high to figure out what that means. <laughs> it's that pretty high. There you go. It's hey, what's up, man? I know you love sports. Football, basketball, baseball, all the balls, hockey, golf, whatever your thing is, man, make sure you head over to DraftKings so you can get this fantasy sports betting jumped off. I'm telling you, they got millions of dollars in prizes. Football fans, even though the regular season is over, there's no shortage of football action at DraftKings. So head over to the app now to get in on the playoffs. With DraftKings, Payday comes every day for players. So what are you waiting for? Head to the app now. Yeah, you, I got a code, relax. I have a code for you. If you go over there right now to DraftKings.com and use the code 85 South Show, you can be entered to win millions of dollars in prizes. Yeah, this is real. This is not a trap. I'm telling you, head over to DraftKings right now Make your team stay under the salary cap, and you already in the game. It's that simple. Hold up. I just won something right there. Okay, I didn't, but I think I did. The minimum, $5 deposit required. Eligibility restrictions apply. See DraftKings.com for details. Make sure you go over there and use my code 85 South, because you never know. I've been winning, and I don't even know a lot about sports. It's that simple. Head over there, DraftKings, 85 South. I'll see you in a minute. So like I was saying, bro, like, yeah, LeBron, $7 I just won. I, I bet that he was going to show up before everybody at the game. You can bet on that. All right, look, one of the most important things that you have to have as a man is to smell good because she's going to smell you before she see you. And usually that could be a good thing or it's going to be a horrible thing. And look, you've been walking around smelling like your father for the past 10 years. It's time for you to get a scent that belongs to you. Something that's for you, by you, and it specifically caters to your body. And that's why we rocking with Hawthorne. That's right, Hawthorne. This company has a two minute quiz that you have to take. Only two minutes. It's almost as short as like a porn ad. You know what I'm saying? You skip right through it. Take the survey and then they will send you your own personalized bottles of cola oh good i was about to say a cocaine one of the most important things that you can have as a man is cologne your smell it's the most important thing the woman is going to smell you before she sees you and unfortunately a lot of us have been passed down fragrances that do not match our lifestyle you're too old to be wearing brute 
and polo blue and anything that your uncle was wearing when he met your auntie. So there's a solution. And the solution is Hawthorne. That's right, Hawthorne. You wonder, what's Hawthorne? Well, Hawthorne is a company that realized how important the smell good is to a man. So what they've done is created a two-minute quiz that you go on that website and take. You take this two-minute quiz, and from only a two-minute quiz, you get your own personalized bottle of cologne. That's right. And it tells you who it was made by and who it was made for. That's something that's specifically for you. So you got to go to Hawthorne. They got body wash, all types of good stuff. I use it sometimes. They got hair stuff that you use on your hair. It ain't help it grow, but it ain't make it fall out. So it still work. Make sure that you go to Hawthorne and get you something for you so you can smell good because that's the most important thing. Watch how your everything game go up when your smell good game go up. And because we love you so much at the 85 South Show, we have partnered with Hawthorne to get you 10% off your first purchase. All you have to do is go to Hawthorne, with an E, dot co, not com, that's dot co, with no M, dot co, and put in 85%, is it, what is it, 85? 85 South. Oh, and put in 85 South, and get 10% off your personalized cologne and body wash and all that other good stuff. So if you're tired of being a funky motherfucker, then get fresh with Hawthorne. You stinking ass, bitch. You heard it. <laughs> you know, a player was exemplifying. Enjoy, indulge. That nigga crazy. Yeah, I'm hot too. God. Yeah, I know. Yeah, <laughs> you I ain't know. saying shit. They're going to be like, what this nigga doing? He <laughs> <laughs> He said, I'm gone. Hey, this bishop, man, he do some shit, too. <laughs> it's not, he it's, is a very yeah. successful program. Look at his watch. He good. Yeah, he trust him. Good. He trustworthy. Send a deposit, all that shit. If you ever try to, if you ever want to do some business, it's your nigga. Give your money back. Yeah, he don't want your money. Hey, Amen. He like, it's more about the experience. <laughs> I want everybody to have a good time. I give you the money back. Look at my watch. <laughs> nah, man, but that's that's dope as hell. How when you drop some shit or when you when you aim for something, you make it happen. Like, it's very motivational. It must have been, man. Yeah. I ain't do it by myself. I know you gotta have a great team, man. Yeah. I see you speak very highly of Mia X. Of course, of course. I always thought y'all was related. Uh, we, we, you probably, uh, honestly, we don't think no different. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's. Not when I saw, like, you know, before we got the backstory, because, you right. know, you got to keep in mind, we the fans. Right, right. So all we got, our introduction was just all these album covers. Right. Yeah, we was making up our own. I thought you walked around on that cell phone with a big ass suit on. Oh, like, that nigga. <laughs> that nigga, your suit was big as shit on that cover. You was, was on that big. phone. It was like a little, fucking, like a. Uh, nigga was holding the phone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That yeah. shit yeah. wasn't taken. Right, 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 right. You could have pulled that shit down digitally. A little bit. Yeah. You showed a little, yeah, little, little pinch of a real like, yeah. like, yeah. This nigga in New Orleans with a big ass. Right, right. And look, it was like, a. One in every minute. One in every minute. I was just fucking with you. Yeah, Come on, man. Yeah, I'm here for it. I'm here for it, man. I'm here for it. Yeah. That shit is funny. Yeah. It was crazy. It was like some type of one of them hip hop outfits. Exactly, man. You know, like like shiny something. Oh, the shiny denim. But it was nah, not the denim, but it was some other material. It was reflective. It was something of that nature. And, early. The light, and but the whatever that was, yeah. yeah. Now, listen, I did not have whatever it was. I was like, when it came to that, it was, that wasn't together yet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Music I had, whatever that vibe. But when it came to, oh, that wasn't together. Yeah. But them album covers was always great. They made yeah. us get down. They Hell yeah. Down at you. Them shit was like, man, look at this shit. Man, look like a fucking horror film in a hood. Come on, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Look at that Will sleeve, he man. make it? Look at that shit. If he runs. <laughs> if he hides. Who was you on the phone Dear with? Dear not going to stop him. Nobody. He's calling for help. No one hears him. Well, y'all work. <laughs> We're all rooting for y'all him. Y'all work the shit you know out of that, that, that person shit, making man. them album covers. You know oh, look at this here. I got this from Fallen. This movie about Denzel Washington. That's when like the souls touch each other. You know what I'm saying? They, you know what I'm saying? You remember that movie? I, I took that from that movie. That, that's why I felt like my. So you told the nigga to put the sword through your name. Yeah, yeah. I felt like it was some barbaric shit, like it's on some knife. real. It's still like a motherfucking. It's a knife. Yeah. Put, Man, put put the, the, you got a sword? What a sword? You got a sword? No, nah, put some rubies on that. Put bitch. some rubies. <laughs> put some bling on that bitch. No, you. All right, you ever seen Conan when it come off? 
<laughs> he said, put diamonds in my name in a motherfucking barbarian sword. You gotta, you got, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta bear mink. Look, I got this. I got it's this. It's a sword. It's a sword. sword. Don't worry about what I'm gonna wear. I got another suit. <laughs> <laughs> it's bigger than the last one. <laughs> I'm gonna be looking like I'm about to go to the doctor. I'm gonna look at everybody like this. I got and that shit on. All I need I, is my name with the diamonds and some smoke on it and, and the goddamn suit. And break the big ass suit. Nigga, call me back. I'm about to try the suit on. <laughs> <laughs> Who brought this regular thing out of the suit? Oh, uh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> my suit is on the ground. <laughs> I am stupid. My bad, y'all. I'm loud as fuck. No. I am no. stupid. Your feet, pull yeah. your suit up. <laughs> you got on the suit? Look at it. Was, it was like a, <laughs> no, like, not like a, like a tie, like another tie, like a tie but no it was suit. definitely. That's, that's a, it's one of like, it's like, like a, 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 yeah, I wish I could find that shit. He think it ain't a suit because he can't see the pants. <laughs> nah, man. <laughs> Master P didn't suit. do nothing hand pants. That's a whole suit. <laughs> <laughs> so Master P took him to get a suit? Where would the hat? Where would the, 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 the hat fit? Where would the hat? Where would the hat? Where would the hat go? Where would the hell not? It was one of them hip hop, I'm trying so I can tell you, like one of them hip hop tops Kango. and bottoms. This is a peak <laughs> hip hop. I know you left the tag on that bitch. Ooh. I'm hanging outside the back. Come on, man. He said, come on. Tell us what it was. Oh. Exactly. Pull it out. I bet it's some good. Let me pull this whole nah, shit. Nah, let me see. Nah, I'll tell you, man, that shit like some A blazer. Bullshit. It's a button up. It had like orange straps, like some <laughs> man. It yeah. was some bullshit. It was definitely some, you know. I don't think I had style yet, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know, you keep it funky. Yeah. I, Cause I just let a nigga just, you know, like, man, yeah, he'll put this on, this one's work. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what is it? <this? laughs> This ain't even the right shit for you. Hey, but look. <laughs> he wore what he wanted to. Hey, no, man, that nigga told I res- me. I respect we got it done. No. But I'm just letting you know, if it had to be a full body I shot. I forgot not to take this out. Let me get this to the owner. Where is new face? <laughs> I don't want to put no You'd been like, boy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> new face. It. Retrieve don't the materials. It. Don't do it. Yeah, oh, man. I need you to put the original fold back in there. Hey, must we were trying to hurt, find out if this was a whole suit or just oh, a blade. It hurt. definitely is no evidence of a oh, whole suit. Unfolded this shit. You didn't it is know. not he a suit. He I forgot that we're dealing with rare earth elements. You didn't know what might have fell out there. He could have had some powder from 98. <laughs> <laughs> hey, just to make sure the texture hey, of the error. Hey, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Somebody <laughs> owes me $88 <laughs> in Philly. Bitch, I got my power. I mean, what type of person? <laughs> you don't just be opening up shit. He said, it's true. This ain't been over since 03, man. Uh, oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, man, how many features you think you've done? A motherfucking lot. Because that's a compliment when a nigga wants you on their song. Hey, bro. That's I, how you know I, you got some real shit going on. I honestly just may sound like uh, the youngin' might say cap. <laughs> you hear me? We old niggas. We, we wear caps every day. Uh, new era. You hear me? <laughs> no, no new era, right? <laughs> Man. Check it. I think I might got more features than any fucking artist alive. Just like to say done features or paid features. Or, you know what I'm saying? I lived off this shit for 20 years. Ghostwriting. Ghostwriting, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so there's a lot of motherfucking features floating around, you dig? Yeah. yeah. That's right. But uh, yeah, man, shout out to everybody that that, um, that got with me, spent with me, invested in me, you know, shared a dope ass track that you just thought I had to be a part of. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, all the creators that allowed me to share vibes with them, you know, on their art, you hear me? Shout out to all y'all. You have a very unique sound, man. You ought to start narrating some shit, just some regular shit. It'll be dope. Man, look. Um, Your voice. That's next, then. Let's, you should just you know do some voice. So just do like audio books or some shit. Ooh, like, this, this fiend book <clears throat> is going to be an audio book. I'm you got to do it. I'm it. You got to do it. I'm going to narrate it. That's, I appreciate yeah. that. Oh, yeah. That's all the yeah. shit you done told us right here. I'm already trying to pre-order. It's crazy. Hey. It's going, yeah. I'm trying to 
pre-order that shit. Tell them about that time, I think, Soldier Slim and was it Mr. Sirloin that got into a fight? Man, what the yeah, fuck? yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad this nigga ain't had no more. Look, <laughs> yeah, that nigga came yeah, back yeah, around. Look, 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 look. Think of some shit. He came back down. I would have asked him, but I ain't know about the shit. Said, His spirit was above him. Like, hey, go man, ahead and hey. ask him. You, you remember the time when C Murder got mad and Sil got the chicken? Nigga, that's in the movie. <laughs> it's real though. He's it's in the movie. They wasn't hey, man. Right. Sil, man. they ain't eating chicken. That's it. <laughs> Give me some time, I'm gonna put it in motion. <laughs> hey, man, he said, man, play our team. Welcome, welcome back. Welcome back, back to the hey, day. Hey, you just tuned okay, in. Okay, man, welcome back to the 85 South Show. Yeah. We sitting in here with Fiend. Hey, no hey, baby legend. Hey. Hey. My nigga Bishop just came out of a weed hey. coma and he just brought up a very interesting point. Interesting point. Fiend. Yeah. Pick up what we putting down. Ooh. Hey, man, check it out, you dig. A um, long time ago, man, we was out in LA, you dig. Riding around LA, getting ourselves up together, get to the hotel and chill, call it an evening, you dig? Yeah. We're in the van, we popping shit, you feel me? I got a lot of key, key, key players from all type of neighborhood in the van. Me and Serve going back and forth on some shit. He fuck with me. I'm the young dude down there. I mean, he, he, the, he, the, he the, um, what they call uh, the seasoned vet that's already been on the label. So he's a, you know, just fuck with me a little bit. You heard me? What? Yeah. 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 Your timing is impeccable. <laughs> Look. Yeah, you heard me? Look. I said, uh, so I said, I said, I'm, I'm playing it down. Like, man, that's just Serve, man, on trip, man. Slim turned around, man. Say, 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 get it. I know y'all ain't letting nobody talk to y'all boys at the 17th like that, uh huh? Man, get it. Oh, no, I know that type of shit ain't going down. You know what I'm saying? So now they joking around. You know, they being a little sarcastic and not cats are talking. You know what I mean? They kind of bumping words. You feel me, sir? And these mu mu must keep this in mind. These two brothers I love and respect. And this, you know, it ended up being what it ended up being. You feel me? It's family shit. But they end up bumping heads. You feel me? And uh, he was saying, man, uh, talk to me like that, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Two brothers about to, you know, bump heads. So they going back and forth, you feel me? He said, this don't concern you, man. He said, man, fuck that, it concern me not, you know what I'm saying? So here these guys, now they, they don't see eye to eye from it. We get to the hotel, something go missing. Sir, so notice something missing. He looking around, man, anybody seen? And he said, man, yeah, I got your shit, now what? You know what I'm saying? And like, so Slim is really, really poking at him, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he ain't playing no more. No, he ain't playing. So sir, like, man, come on with all that, man. Give me, you know, give me that there, you feel me? So I'm like, man, man, fuck that shit. It's my shit, nigga. Now what? You heard me? Sir being reserved, he the OG on the label. He ain't, you know, he like playing it down about nothing, man. Once again, dog, I probably could have shut that shit down on the van, you heard me? And told the man, da 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 right? I said, I'm gonna be quiet and I entertain it, right? Boy, why did I do that? Get off the elevator, man. These dudes with the ball. Right? You know what I'm saying? It's gone. You heard me? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, man. You heard me? So I'm like, Lord, man, what the fuck, man? So next thing you know, everybody said, man, they fight, they fight. You know what I'm saying? Next thing you know, my people, Hound, which is Slim Cousin, he come out. He's like, man, get off my cousin, man. You know what I'm saying? This person in the mix, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, man, all three of these guys are going at it. Somebody let it out, let P here that, you know, fighting going on amongst cats, you feel me? On, on the soldiers, on the label, you feel me? Man, they're like, man, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Man, so now they used to shut the shit down, shut the fight. They go in there, close the door, get it straight, you know, put a nail in it. It, was, it, was, it wasn't that. Dope. But we normally solve our differences in boxing gloves at the studio. If I had a problem with somebody, somebody had a problem with me, and it was obvious it had the room being read a little different, the vibe wasn't right, you, teach, you get your ass in the gloves, and y'all get it off your chest, and we can move forward, you know what I'm saying? So that's how we handle a lot of internal <clears throat> indifferences, you feel me? Like, you know, if you're going to pop shit, you're going to disrupt the forwardness of what we doing with your bullshit, put these fucking gloves on. Right. And whoever you got it out with, y'all go, you can go catch a bathroom. We ain't got to see you niggas, you hear me? You gonna catch your bathroom, but get it over with so we can move forward. And um, so that was one moment. Ain't no fucking gloves, but yeah, man. Um, brothers had it out and got it, got it back right, right quick. It did. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> I mean, and there you have it. <clears throat> but that shit. Mo, mo jobs need to be like that. Shit. Hey man, you know shit. You know it's man, all they about. Don't, see, that's the genius of P. He knew how to work with black people. <laughs> <laughs> Very innovative. Y'all ain't gonna keep talking about fighting. Exactly. <laughs> Got these gloves, though. I'm going to fight. You're going to fight or you going to shut the fuck up? <laughs> what, what you want to do? I'm doing the same shit at my company, but ain't no gloves. It's going to be oven mitts. <laughs> Slap the shit. <laughs>
<laughs> Mid boxing. Oh, we baked that nigga. Hit him with a 12 oh. piece. Oh, a baker's dozen. Oh, he oh, lost his mid. Does it. <laughs> Time out. Put your mid back on. Put your mid back on. Because <laughs> it's hard to make a fist. Man, you can't, you can't fist it. Damn, yeah. man. So Currency wow. came on here and was telling us about how C. Murder used to drop him off at school and that shit, man. He was around when he was fucking with No Limit. Off and on. When he got, when the Spitter got with No Limit, I had kind of already moved on to some other endeavors. And, um, but um, I, I missed that era of recording with him, but he handled his business on everything he was on, you know what I'm saying? Was a force to be reckoned with then. Yeah. But I seen him around though, in the city. You dig? I seen him around the city. And uh, he always left an impression, you know what I'm saying, when I ran across him, you did. What is some, what's some of the advice you give to the young artists that come up to you and say, OG, OG, I'm fucking with the music, man. What, what advice would you give me? If advice I give, man, you know, learn the business, you feel me? Keep in mind, it's an industry, and you got to be able to produce something over and over and over and over again. Motherfucker don't care about your feelings. If you is, you got to reduce your margin of what you're looking to make. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a business. Learn it's a business first and, you know, make your time count. You know what I'm saying? Make your time count. Yeah. Make your time count. You feel me? If you're going to spend three hours in the studio, do that, be gone. Whatever you was able to accumulate for that, do that, keep it moving because you can accomplish way more doing something with your time. Allocate your time properly. You know what I'm saying? And that's just a few tips right there, though. Yeah, man. You was around so much of this music, man. Mm -hmm. What are some of your, your favorite tracks from that era of, you know, being in there, watching it be created? You know, some of your favorite No Limit tracks. Um, my ain't favorite, some you know, of my They ain't got to be necessarily yours, but just, you know, in the right. era of um, bring back certain memories and feelings like and shit. Moments, yeah. Uh, uh, to all my soldiers in the street. Life ain't always guaranteed. Some murder's same for you and me. But it's a ghetto wall to be all you can be. That's like one of my favorite moments, you feel me? That could be the intro yeah, for a black man. TV show. <clears throat> for sure. Did you see that shit? That, that was that was funny. Yeah, to be the intro. The yeah, intro yeah. for something. It's running. Baby, bring right. me some ketchup. <laughs> That's supposed to come up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was at a car dealership getting the oil changed, and I heard the original by George Michael, and uh, they was playing, the, I don't ever want to dance. And I was listening, I was like, oh, shit. It pulled up my car, man, I ran to the studio, called Moby Dick, and I was like, Moby, I need you to come make this beat, man, for this chorus. We're going to do this for Mac for his album, Shell Shot. You feel me? He wants something like the If I Don't Got Her that, we, you know, we put up on Silk Project, um, Charge to the Game. Man, did that shit, man. He played that shit. I laid that shit, man. Matt came in here, man. Matt smiling ear to ear. You know, Silk got on that thing. You heard me? It, yeah, those, that's a dope moment. And do ah, do you know my old lady? Quarter key, quarter key. Tell Prime me suspects. what she do for me. Yeah, that was dope. Cause Snoop got to see somebody I look up to. Oh my God, right? Yeah. I got. What was that like when Snoop came to No Limit? That shit was like, that shit was left field. You heard me? Snoop came to No Limit. My bad, y'all. That's Snoop right there. Snoop, nah, that's, that's, that's my old lady. Hold up, hold that's up, my that's my name. That's my old lady. That's my old lady. Oh. Hold on one second. <laughs> Hey, baby, I'm doing an interview. Let me call you right back. All right, baby. Hey, buddy. Love you. Bye. Bye. Yeah, man. So, look, I, um, what were we saying? Snoop. Snoop. Oh, my God. Snoop got there, bro. Fucked me up. Fucked me up. Man, Snoop was like middle of the night, like somebody motherfucking snuck somebody in the country or some shit. You feel me? You feel? Because it was at a time that he was not seeing eye to eye with death row. You know, it's, he had a lot of things on him, you know what I'm saying? And he was still being victorious, making music and being him, you know what I'm saying? This icon, you know what I mean? Man, Snoop was like two, three in the morning. I come to the studio, I turn the corner, they got Snoop Dogg sitting in the office. You know, black Raiders uh, jersey, football jersey, uh, some, like some sweats. I'm like, it's a Snoop Dogg, dog. Like, so ain't nobody say shit, y'all didn't know. It's just, right, right, yeah, right, Snoop Dogg just right, there. right, right. It was, in, it was already like, you know what I mean? Like, we'd already been collabing a song here or something like that. But to like see it like that, it was like, it was like going to the job. It was like going to the fucking, what's the name of uh, St. Patrick's fucking club? What's his name? What his club was? 
it was on, on the go, truth. truth. It was like yeah. going to truth. And because we management or because we a part of this thing that we got, we we up on this type of now that we're upon this type of activity that's going down in hip hop right now. Right. We first we got this we got first dibs on this type of action, yeah. this type of world changing shit for hip hop right, right now. You know what I'm saying? So it was dope, man, to be a part of something great that was about to become more great than what it was already it was. You know, you know how you just be smoking and you you know, with your partner and y'all listening to an album or some shit. Mm -hmm. Like me and this nigga always wondered, man, was rapping Fote really answering the phone at No Limit Studio? Oh, that's funny. <laughs> hey. We just always wonder. Look. Rapping folks ain't no limits. What, what, what hey. are you doing there? Hey. I, I, that shit was the dopest <laughs> shit ever. Because it was random. He wasn't on no song. That's what made it dope. That was the art of I give to P from knowing how to have a, a special appearance or a feature that was just a dab of seasoning and it was still impressive. Right. We learned that from Dr. Dre the right. Chronic. I'm gonna put this artist there, that artist, I'm gonna orchestra, I'm gonna have co-stars to make a big something. And that was a pivotal something okay. of skits yeah. that led into one of the biggest somethings that we all could possess and say we entertain. Man, that was some cold yeah. shit. Yeah. Cause it's like, <laughs> yeah. you, you got a multi-million dollar company. You're not just gonna let random people answer the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you built an empire out of the ghetto. Ain't nobody just in the studio. Let me get that, bro. P. Hello? Can I feed the P? Who? Who? P. Yeah. Who make them say that then? Man, what a nigga. This nigga just rapping full time. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm supposed to be on this motherfucker with you. <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> that shit cold, man. Uh, that shit cold. We fucked with that whole era, man. I was buying CDs every goddamn week. Say, bro, and they was shit. dropping. Say, bro, that was the illest time, bro. I, I saw a method of an album get done of that, you know, cats, I give I hope this is a gym that could do something for somebody that might be creating music or creating content or something as far as, uh, like, um, like drawing energy back into what you're doing off of great energy you already created. P used to like, <clears throat> he might have four songs on the album for Ghetto D, right? Y'all come over, like let's say y'all section, y'all come over, right? And y'all y'all new company, I ain't seen y'all in a minute, right? But y'all know we got these four songs for Ghetto D. So he'd be like, man, turn, pull that shit up, pull that shit up, pull that shit up, you did? He'll play them four songs and we'll watch the vibe of the room, you know what I'm saying? Off them four songs, so now us, we all connected to these four songs, right? So we ain't seen each other in a week. Now we got two more songs. Now they just showed up too. Now we can play this. Now we all connected off. Oh, all this shit coming back. You heard me? Oh, that bitch coming back. You heard me? They vibe with it, bitch. I'm telling you, it's going to be that. Yeah, you feel me? We get four more songs, six more songs. Now we got a bigger room of people just, you know, the energy of people that's fucking with each other. You heard me? And, and then we'll have it be known what the world going to do because our own people couldn't deny the shit. You know what I'm saying? It was like, it was, it was, that's how Ghetto D, bless you. That's how Ghetto D came about, you know what I'm saying? It was dope. I saw him put that shit together. I saw C come in there with making crack like this, want to do that over with Beast by the Pound. You can really cook crack if you listen, right? Yeah, you can. <laughs> they taught you on the internet before anything. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Internet teach you anything. Man, but the instructions are so detailed. Man, they are. Man. Hey, that's all. This man, Chuck. one gram of cooking. So that, one was, <laughs> that was the process. Every seven grams, you had a <laughs> gram of yeah, yeah, yola. Hey, that's, yeah. Yeah. I didn't want to drop yola the numbers because somebody was going to be like, oh, tell me more. No, yeah, what, I, what I'm saying is off of uh, experimental. And that nigga was saying, yeah, 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 yeah. let the water get real hot. Let it get real hot. <laughs> then you have some cold water, add that to Ooh, the pot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Run that back. Now I'm on my second batch. Yeah, yeah. Drop yeah, yeah. Now Rewind it. Rewind it. Relate it to the left. Scrape the pot and make the soap. See? Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it's critical that you mm -hmm. lean it to the left or something. Up, though, it's more gravity to the left mm -hmm. or something. From what I heard. To do it. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. Yeah, you try to do crack it. like this. That, I just, man. That, that shit was hard, man. <laughs> I, that shit was hard. <laughs> yeah. That shit was hard. That shit was stupid hard. Can't cook no crack in 2021. Nah, who you gonna sell it to? <laughs> like, look, just to be you clear, it for the love. demand for everything. <laughs> it's not the time to be It's just not the time to be doing that. It's the love of the game. To get in the game? I'm cooking this for me. You ain't been in the game. It's my Crack. Nah. <laughs> I'm gonna smoke this throughout the rest of the pandemic. Can you imagine oh, trying to shit. teach a 90s baby how to cook crack? Do people still smoke crack? Yes. But Put they know how to cook it themselves. Printer. 
Come make some crack. <laughs> can't make a little bit, can you? Where they at? Where the crack is? <laughs> crack is a little bit. Be like, man, cocaine prices is way down. Let me cook my own shit. I don't trust nobody to cook me nothing. Me, it's nothing. a pandemic. <laughs> Motherfucker got a pandemic going on now. <laughs> <laughs> Down East Egg. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> he said, Down East Don't swing. Yeah. <laughs> he got a spoon. Go. <laughs> nice. Nice. Nah. Burn that shit up. That shit is crazy. There's so many songs from that era that just that just hit different. Man, it's, Man it's, what? And it's, it's, that's, you got to tell me like a tour story or the craziest. That's what I want to hear because I know y'all. I feel like y'all was accepted everywhere. Yeah, and there was a hundred niggas. Uh, yeah, yeah, you gonna accept that. Yeah. You gonna accept that. Uh, oh. Man, when you show up 100 deep, motherfuckers act different. We gonna listen. I'm a, we gonna I'm, listen I'm and listen say, to what you got to say. I'm gonna say a great story was being in LA and it was some type of an awards show going on. Some type of awards. Right. One of them black ass shows. I'm just gonna say some type of awards show, right? We were there, we, we had our job to do in the awards show and you know, keep it moving. And afterwards you hit parties and things like that. Just like anything else, a whole bunch of red carpet events, you dig? So look, um, I'm at this one spot. I meet Styles, what's up bro? You know what I'm saying? Good to meet you, man. I meet E, I meet DJ Clue. I'm a kid off of 8827 Ember Street, you feel me? That's some real gangster shit. When a nigga drop his address, <laughs> anywhere, no matter where you at in America, a nigga take you the whole address. Nigga, 1906! <laughs> <laughs> My grandma had that little fit around the yard, you know. When niggas get specific about right, the area. Right, right, right. Real gang shit. Nah, man. Wall Street trapping know that. <laughs> you know what I mean? I just, I just, you know, I just, it's just where it took it. It's stupid. You know what I mean? When you said that, I was like, yeah, you don't get no fuck. <laughs> if you're it's, 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 here. Hey, with them niggas, like, it's like that. <laughs> I was looking at the motherfucker like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I was just waiting. You heard me? Small Ooh. village. Ooh. Small village, yeah. you feel me? The same village that raised me, the same yeah. village that made people embrace me. That yeah. shit do be dope, though. When you at the yeah. war show, and then you just be hollering. You be like, nigga, I fuck with you. Yeah, that's that's how it was. That's how it was. Yeah, yeah. It don't look. matter what the fuck they doing, it's going to look amazing. It's nigga, gonna... Missy Elliott is eating grapes over that bitch. Right, right. <laughs> A real grape. <laughs> oh, look. Oh. Nigga, nigga. <laughs> yeah. That nigga, Lil Kim got house shoes on. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> He's got house shoes on. Oh man, oh, that's stupid. That's, that's how, how it was when I saw Meg the Stallion. Oh, oh, <laughs> but then I was mapping it up. I was like, her, ass, like if I was, if I was her nigga, her ass coming about my chest. You already didn't peep the, 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 the dynamics like, of her ass be like in this area. It's just a job for you. All this is lit. It's just a job for I, you. It's just a job for you. Get you something new to do. You know. Yeah, you, you know. I ain't done. Okay. I ain't. This ain't never been this high before. I guess that's what I'm doing. Yeah. I saw it. She smelled good. Too. She smelled good as fuck. <laughs> you a real nigga. <laughs> you in and out this weed cone. Right. But when you punch in, <laughs> when you punch good. in. She, she smells good. Her natural I smell good. Right. I smell not on the weird shit. Right. Not, not on the you got to say that because it's the end of it. Yeah, With man. a T on it. She, yeah. smelled she, smelled. she smelled. She smelled. She does. She, she smelled, smelled excellent. Smelled it good. That's the what, that's what people remember, man. If you the people looking at, always make sure you smell good. Got yeah. 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 You. Yeah. You smell good. A huge impression. That helps. Yeah. Wash your ass. Cause she you be know. dancing. That's you what you gotta do. She be moving so much. She be dancing and yeah. moving. Yeah. You're like, damn, this girl been moving so much. Yeah. And she still smelled it good. We, <laughs> my nigga said smelled it. That's how fucking good. Smell it. it. She smelled, it. smelled it. it. She smelled it. <laughs> my nigga, here, man. This bishop, ATL top 20. Yeah. Cold nigga. It's my guy. Yeah, I told you this people, nigga was man. cold, nigga. When he chimed in. <laughs> He say she something smelled it. that sticks with the people. That shit real. She smelled it. She smelled, Megan, it. She smelled it good. She smelled it good. She smelled it good. Megan Thee Stallion smelled it good. Bruh, that need to be the name of her perfume. Smell Megan Thee Stallion smelled, smelled it good. good. Yeah, she do. That's gone. And somewhere. I was, I know you ain't bullshitting because she smelled it good when I sang it to oh. Megan. Did you so you see smelled it. I, I smelled it. Oh. Rock with the kids. And it was early in the morning. And guess what? She still smelled it good. Nice. That's the, that's, that's the real. That's how you know. 
She ain't playing. Some of them girls be smelling like they play basketball. <laughs> Musty. Onion ring. They be moving. Some of them smell like they <laughs> he play. He said they be moving. Yeah. Oh. He, he, he said onion ring. <laughs> Damn. 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 I mean, they allowed to the hustle, you know, yeah. but just that you ran across them when they had the little onion, the little bump. That little, yeah, that little, that little twang. <laughs> that little twang hit your nose. Woman, Some people like that. Woman must have hit different, though. I'm not, oh, yeah? Yeah. And London is popping. They must have <laughs> as fuck on that. It's popping. Oh, I bought it like a, like a little, the little just ch- the switch that you put on the plug and shit. The adapter joint? The adapter joint, you heard me? I'm getting that. The lady was like, oh, are you one of this radio? I said, a big old stain. Uh, <laughs> it was yellow. <laughs> it was a big old stain. Yeah. Like, like she like had somebody in the head like or something. Like they sweated <laughs> under the When you said she that, just, I thought of this, man. Right. Like, and she reached for the radio, right? And I was like looking. And she like was still talking. I was just looking at the stain. And she was like, excuse me. I, I, I was like, man, like that shit look thick. You know what I'm saying? It's, you know, like. When out, you know, hanging. I know. Yeah, I was like, shit. I'm I, like, I basically lived in Germany for about two weeks. Okay. Oh, I was over there on tour. I was just like, this is the wildest place I have ever been. Why they? Why are they like this? I'm driving and everything. <laughs> I know everybody ain't like that. I'm just doing driving. Like, I'm like, if they pull me over, everything is gonna go wrong. <laughs> you is a wrap, bro. We were over there. We we're getting ready to go to the show. It's like two and a half, three hours away. You drove to the show. The motherfucking promoter got you, a nigga? car. <laughs> the shit is on the opposite side. They got janky and then it's a stick, German? and he don't know how to drive <laughs> a stick. How the fuck? Bro, we driving all the way in like second gear. He like, and then it's like jumping. And I'm like, bro, you don't know how to drive a stick. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not about to do this. To, uh, man, bro, this motherfucker. It's bucking. He's an Bruh, shift that bitch. Come on, shift. Pull up. <laughs> I get up in that bitch. I'm like, hold up. It's gonna take me a second because I ain't even. I ain't used to left driving. I'm used to so <laughs> kick this nigga out the car. You know, Germany is pull in up the back seat. Me and the other comedian. And this nigga <laughs> over there being my hype time. man, bro. This Germany nigga. Germany like, Come on, look. You can drive this bitch. I'm like, yeah, I got it. Hold on. <laughs> 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 Yeah. This. this nigga on the other side when it's time to hit the brake, cause he in the driver's seat. He like, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm like, bro, I, I'm, I'm, I'm driving. <laughs> <laughs> the shit over here. You're the passenger. Look at right. boy. He like, ah! right. I don't stop every time I stop. Stop screaming. <laughs> it takes a second to get used to. It's a stop True screen. fucking story. Wow. <sighs> fuck with Germany though. Oh, yeah, I have it. And love the shop, love man. They catch up nasty as fuck. You want sauce? Do you want sauce? That's what they call do, it. Do you want they sauce? They call it sauce. Do you want Nasty. sauce? What's sauce? Wrong? Extra you sauce? You had that ketchup you with no sauce? salt in it. Do you want sauce? No salt ketchup. Why they make that? Man, give me a pack of ketchup. You know the one that be like, no salt added, and then you're like, what the fuck is that? Oh, yeah. It's Tastes a like ammonia. Color. It's got a little different color on it. The that's that's the shit they be eating. Yeah, yeah. It's like tomato paste. You want and sauce? they be mad that you want it. Can they're like, damn, you for real? You want that shit? Nah. Go get them the sauce. Then they got you want sauces? That, it's some brown shit that look like uh, A1 and kind of tastes like A1, but it ain't A1. Hold up. What is it, beef juice? I don't know. Beef juice. It's kind of like a steak beef. sauce, but it's kind of like, I don't know. It ain't A1? He said it ain't A nothing. <laughs> <laughs> he said that, is, is that is that wrong? I like Germany, though. They like black people a lot. True. They treat us totally different. True. They be acting like... They act like they've been looking for us, and they're glad they found us. They ain't been hey, man, <laughs> my friend. <laughs> Have a beer. Have a beer. <laughs> Where you been? <laughs> Red Bull gives you wings. <laughs> oh, Where did you get your stimuli? <laughs> you need your stimuli. Oh, you need to take the holiday. Oh. <laughs> That's crazy. Fucks with Germany, man. That's funny. Man. Shit, yeah, man. It's a real hood ass shit, bro. We appreciate you coming through here and sprinkling some game on the trap. Oh, man. We ain't kicking you out and we ain't going nowhere, though. You know, we say things all through this bitch. Yeah, yeah. Because this is a show for the hood. Right. And just to see a real hood nigga make it up out the hood and still be that nigga mm. from the hood to be part of the most successful era of hip-hop period and still be cool enough 
down to earth enough to fuck with some niggas doing some shit like this, man. I'm on it, man. I'm on it, baby. Yeah, I'm on it, baby. Man. Just know that when you was in that bitch and you was putting it down, you was reaching niggas like us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Needed to hear that shit. Real shit, man. You got that, like I said, man, your, your rap boy so different. It's just like, it was never questionable like a lot of the shit is right now. Right. It's very believable. Yeah, yeah, I, I felt it. Yeah. Some of this shit now, I don't. I just want to get you through it, man. Like, you know, that we, we celebrated the cast that was on the mic and we would protect them by any means. That's when a, a rap artist was, that's what made me want to do it. Like the neighborhood to protect you by any means because you do and you mean so much for the community. You spoke for the communities. You know, we just not tearing it down. It's America. You're going to get your hands dirty somewhere. You just got to <clears throat> have that balance together. You feel me? And um, most people just, you know, just ain't really, it's hard to get that. And I just feel like if I'm going to do it, I'm a, I got to help too. I just got to make it digestible. Yeah. 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 Hell yeah. You know, you got to throw that message in there. You know, try to inspire niggas. It's but, you know, niggas, right. but niggas, it's just like, you say it's, it's just like you said, like in the world of balance. You know, sometimes you can you can say it and niggas catch it, but the same way people are like, I don't know why they do that ignorant shit and post money online. You don't know what type of niggas they reach. Mm. Some niggas got to see it to believe it. Some mm. niggas can hear it right. and apply it, but some niggas got to see it to believe Everything it. Everything ain't for you. Exactly. But what's for you, can't nobody take from you. Mm. So. Yeah. What good is the knowledge if you don't know how to use it? Come on, man. Come on, man. Now, don't get me wrong. Jesus want me to ball. No, you know on some real so, shit. Yeah, yeah. So now, I'm a, we can abundant. Now, now, that's I, I a very be, good point. I just want to be clear. Now, don't think, man, look, man, I like I'm fine. I like I'm hot. Don't you hear me? Like, I'm a man. You feel me? Don't get me twisted. I'm, I'm just, I'm just 2021 to let you get this version of me. You know what I'm saying? Me and my wife, we, we have investment properties. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I do a plethora of things. I got clothing companies. I have a few other things that, um, that, that trampolines from, um, just doing music. And uh, as a business person, I learned that it's an industry. You have to be able to produce it over and over and over again. Consistency is key, and keys open doors. You know what I'm saying? So my whole thing now is we need the money. And we need to fuck with each other. We need to find a group of people that can coexist with each other and turn up with each other. That can take their money and resources, pool it with each other, and, and make something that'll last. Because <clears> we <throat> gotta be a little more responsible with it. And this is whatever walk of life you are tuned into this right now. You dig? Like if I meant anything to you, I want you to know that I'm gonna need you to fall in love with yourself right now. Cause I need you. We need you. We gotta figure this out. You heard me? Yeah. Like just to keep it in funk, we want. I want ball. I want take my own. I want buy Chanel purses and shit. And I want yeah. to help my neighborhood start subdivisions and keep some people from being hungry on the street. It's just about balance. You feel yeah. me? I don't want to stop that of who I am. I you know, know you're yeah. a great business yeah. man. You marketed the name Fiend. Mm. Right. Right, real shit, come on, Before man. the yeah, internet. On. I mean, right. if you, right. I got fiend coming. Well, what's he gonna do? Yeah. <laughs> is he gonna smoke crack <laughs> on <laughs> camera? <laughs> he gonna send a fiend? Is he okay? <laughs> I don't know about this one, man. Right, right. <laughs> no, no, right. he, he, he ain't no joke. joke. You He's a dope artist. Yeah, I mean, right. his name is Fiend, man. <laughs> <laughs> Look, is he gonna bring drugs in my club or not? <laughs> You yeah, ain't gonna bring some drugs. What, you, well, what, what do you yeah, mean? You gonna bring some bring some drugs. Drugs. Well, I mean, not drugs. drugs. I mean, they smoke weed. They smoke weed. Right. Still. <laughs> yeah. Do I need to pay him up front or should I wait till after the show? <laughs> <laughs> you better not fuck me on this, man. <laughs> Real shit. <laughs> Did you catch any backlash or, you know, any, like, uh, obstacles? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twice, I think, when it came to performing. I couldn't do some festivals at one time because it was like, well, his name, you know, what it means. I'm like, well, you know. That sounds like some recent shit. You know, it happens, you know. I, it ain't going to go nowhere. That's why I got International Jones. I perform under a whole other brand that's a little more lax, a little gutter boy that's seen the world travel, got stamps in his passport, love beautiful women, a kind of sort of fine bud, and enjoy balling for what I feel is balling. I'm glad you ain't never let nobody talk you into changing. You think we could go with, like, Microphone Fiend or something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was uh... something before that. But Fiend is what... There's my What's mom coming Fiend, 14. She was like, what you gonna go? I said, I'm gonna be Fiend. She said, well, I'm gonna call you Fiend so you can get used to this shit. You know what I mean? So a strong woman in my life. So I'm trying to tell you, I had blessings upon him. Blessings in front of me. It was on me to gravitate toward him. Man, man this got me going crazy, man. I'm, 
This is the longest I done ever went without like telling no jokes or doing no show. Sitting at the house all day, man, with these kids. Trying to help them with the schoolwork. Everything in the world falling. I don't know what to do. I All I know how to do is talk shit. I talk shit when it's raining, when it's snowing outside in a blizzard. Whenever it's going on, I'm going to talk my shit. And for me not to be able to do that, it's got me... You know, I'm going crazy a little bit, so I can't take it no more. So you know what I did? I I had me a show. Yeah, a safe one. A social distance show. Nobody even got out the car. Yeah, and I'm putting it out. I'm putting it out because if I would have been outside, I would have put something out by now. This is not no comedy special. This is just some special comedy. This is some comedy that I did in the middle of the pandemic. And I want you to see it because I know you would have came if you would have been able to. So we putting it out, independent. Ain't no middleman, it's straight me. It's just, buy it from me. It's direct to consumer. It ain't, it ain't gonna be no Netflix special. It ain't no HBO, it ain't no Showtime. It, it's 85 South Media. Support it, watch it. Smoke something to it, man. man. I'm just, you know, shit, by any means. We gonna get it done by any means. Whatever going on, as long as I'm alive, we gonna do some comedy some kind of way. So make sure you watch this. It's coming soon. Man, that's yeah, dope. Man. She used to be like, Fiend, I come in with my friends. They be like, uh, ask Damien if he wants some red beans and rice. Fiend, you want some garlic bread with yours? He be like, man, what your mama just call you, bro? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, so, yeah. yeah you gotta you know, When your mama believe in you, you gotta do it. And I was playing football and everything. She said, what you gonna do, football or music? You can't be doing both. You're standing out all along. I was like, man, look, on a football team, these boys worry about getting home, eating their food. We down 52, nothing. They ain't, there's not in the game. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, I'm going to oh, do the music. Oh, that's the worst. Man, one time my coach going to yell at me, talking about, we lost. I was like, I didn't play. <laughs> Y'all lost. Right, right. I'm not about to accept this. I'm not. Right. <laughs> I ain't got shit to do with this you. This ain't a wee moment. You don't want to be part of the team. Well, if I'm not going to be part of the game, what's the point of being part of the team? Yeah, man. You want to be a smart ass? Well, you want to be a dumb one? <laughs> I was never good with authority. Hey, that's hard. This that's hard. Hilarious. That's major who he is. You hear me? That shit is amazing. Carl Smith, if you're going to start taking your life serious, you're never going to meet anybody. Like, oh, yeah, you teach health. <laughs> <laughs> and you stink. So what, what does that tell me? You stink. You the health teacher, he said, and you he must. Must. <laughs> he said, you must. tell me shit. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> What's that shit on your leg? <laughs> oh man, <laughs> coach. Black psoriasis, heaven ass, dry ass elbows, that varicose veins. That you got three different visible medical conditions, and you the help. <laughs> they got the book open. Diabetic and why your ass so goddamn visible. yeah. Visible, you bro. got three visible <laughs> health conditions. Bro, you need a doctor. I mean, it's just, it's stupid, bro. This nigga's on a roll. I, see, I know what that is. Niggas, he's on a roll. That's on the commercial. Yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> You're basically dead in front of me. <laughs> Funny shit. Bro, I knew this shit when I was 16. Man, you ain't got no compassion. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Because <laughs> I grew up around a bunch of people who should have never shit. I, I grew up around a lot of people who should have never been around children. Because <laughs> they had, bro, I grew up around a bunch of people who shouldn't have never been around me. They think I'm good, but th I could have been so great if I wouldn't have been around these fucking losers, man. They fucked up so much of my growth and development. What they did. Carlos Miller, you think everything's a joke? Like, yeah. Your life. <laughs> your life. Listen, your life. I, your life is a joke. Damn. You think I give a fuck about what frogs do in the springtime? Damn. <laughs> you traumatized. <laughs> so then wait, they send you somewhere? Did they send me where? They, they, they send you somewhere, somewhere else? Nigga, when they had You know how they do that? You fuck up in the class, they send you to <laughs> Then I go home. I went to school in Mississippi. I, I had plenty of days I just roamed the hallway. He said, I just roamed the Niggas say some shit just to be free. Hold up. You know how people I'm always out. be like, man, I had that home. You ever, you ever, and like, it's the joke, like the running joke when people are like, you ever look in your window and your homeboy doing like this in the window? I was the homeboy doing that shit. 
<laughs> you had things to do. I was, man, I was a fucking. Uh, bro, I had one teacher, this motherfucker would just talk. He just walked in and out the class. Just, <laughs> he didn't know who was there or who wasn't. He, didn't, he was just fucking gave That's up. Crazy. Should have never been around me. You wasn't in no foster home, was you? Hell no. <laughs> Listen, go back, bro. He was going. He was, he was to the he was back in the thousand. He was <laughs> going. No. <laughs> Nigga, I got too many parents. I had all the parents. I, I had my parents and some step parents <laughs> and some bunch of aunties. <laughs> all kind of I was raised by 700 people, man. <laughs> <laughs> My immediate family got 3,000 adults in it. Damn. <laughs> Where are the kids? <laughs> it's just you. <laughs> now tell you another thing. God damn. damn. I got enough advice to last me. I'm 69. Let me, let me just try some shit. Would y'all please stop trying to help me? Life is about priorities. Now, now listen, bro. I'm, I am six. <laughs> If you don't let me enjoy this, this last little piece of six. <laughs> you don't see the Smurfs on? You gotta pick your toys up. <laughs> no, I don't. I am a, a developing child. I gotta lay this shit out and see what I like. <laughs> pick your toys up. No. He said, see what I like. Uh, <laughs> it's a method for my man. My toys told me they didn't like being uh, in the box. All right, fuck it. It's a I was just man. giving you an example of the type how the shit's stupid, but it makes complete oh. sense. Yeah, I feel you. People think a lot of wrong shit about me, Bishop. That's us cool. <laughs> That's us cool. I thought you had some white parents. No, you didn't. <laughs> now you just reaching. Ain't no way you looked at me and thought white parents. No. I'm, I'm mixed, but I ain't that kind of mixed. My homie got white, he had white parents. Well, I'm mixed. I'm black, I'm half black, half nigga. <laughs> My daddy a nigga. My mama's a strong black like woman. <laughs> <laughs> the killer cowboy. <laughs> yeah. I'm a third generation nigga. <laughs> My granddaddy was what you called the original nigga. He came out the first batch of nigga. I be blaming a lot of my problems on my grandfather. You shouldn't. You guess we gotta blame a lot of your success on. That too. Because uh, you're you doing shit that your granddaddy couldn't even do. Like, this shit was illegal when your granddaddy was on the street. It couldn't be four niggas talking about nothing. Smoking it's just weed? just when you get caught up in the entanglement. Shit. It's my grandfather. Fuck. Yeah, I know. Look how Marvin Gaye looked at you when you said, it's your granddaddy. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> your granddaddy ain't did shit, boy. <laughs> Try to provide I your granddaddy. And be a stable in your He's life. He's you gonna get on this goddamn podcast and allow your goddamn granddaddy. <laughs> He grew up down the street from where the shit was popping at. You gonna lie on your granddaddy. <laughs> nah, man. That's cold, though, man. Our granddaddies was probably some cold niggas, and they did some shit that we don't have no history about, bro. I wonder who was the first three black men in America to go get together in somebody's basement, make the plan, buy a pound of weed, wow. split the money up, move back to Mississippi, buy some land. There was some hoes around. In your grandma time? Mm -hmm. They was around. They was around before. I wonder time. if they was getting hoes at the Civil Rights March. Yeah, they what y'all doing around, after this? My grandfather had a hoes. No, on. my cousin Melvin got a little spot down and it's on the walk back to Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. You walked in by yourself? Damn. Damn! No, Martin, that's my cousin! I'm Marvin Luther King! No, I got the kid. No, the chicken. We got the after party, we got the fish Friday night. Muddy water's coming through. Harold Melvin and the Blue Notes, they coming up from New Orleans. Johnny Taylor. James Brown sent like a whole bunch of catfish. We're gonna fry them up and shit. You saw the lady selling the barbecue? That's my sister, yeah. <laughs> Kathy, yeah, Kathy. <laughs> now, we're not walking back. My brother is gonna pick us up when we get to uh, Birmingham. We're gonna just walk to Birmingham. Shit. He gonna drive us back. Like now, we're not walking back. You can ride back with us. My brother? Yeah, no, your name. Oh, I'm oh, Marvin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Marvin's my first cousin, man. Hey, boss. <laughs> yeah. On my mother's side, my mother and his mother, they're sisters. 
<laughs> you know it was some niggas at the Civil Rights Party. All day. For players. Some players. Hey, nigga. brother, what church you belong to? Oh, first Ebenezer. Okay, bet. Look, if you ever in Springfield, Alabama. Springfield, okay. Springfield. Alabama. I got a little thing that I'm doing down there. I'm fighting for our people too, man. We don't got no black garbage, man. No black garbage. Man. Yeah. Okay. So I'm telling all the people in Springfield just to save our trash. Don't yeah, we it. just we, we yeah we we on trash strike. <laughs> so if you ever want to get down and check out a real movement without all this a fake real shit. Movement. Yeah, we ain't doing that nonviolent shit over there. We whooping their ass too. <laughs> touch us, we ride. We got right. a touch and ride policy. Yeah. Touch and ride. Yeah, if you touch us, we ride. We ride. We, ride. we not walking. We, we ride. 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 And for translations for shit, those that just tuned in eighty five south, ride means to slide them. Yeah, yeah, we gonna slide apart. Yeah, that's what we'll do yeah. down in Springfield. Spin yeah. the yeah. 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 Spin the bend. <laughs> Oh, Y'all want to come to a real movie. Oh, man. Yeah, we, shit, they touch us, we touch them. You know what? In small cities, they got little cats that put together stuff like that, man. But, you know, or for some reason, you know, maybe they don't last. But that's what I think. The only thing missing, period. The thought of what you just said. Man. Like, cats linking up like that. Three, four dudes, you know. You know, get some investment property, shit like on, that. Man. Yeah. Man. But there was some players shit, there. It was hard they shit. There was players. Yeah. yeah. You know, that's you why know everybody got acreage. Er, you know, everybody, my great granddad got acreage and uh, acres out there in San Francisville. You know what I mean? We share a lot of land with my cousin, my relatives, and shit. And that goes on. I got like, <clears> a, a business partner of mine. He got 115 acres out there in Mississippi. And that's, of course, um, transferred through inheritance, his great grandfather, stuff like that. Yeah, I'm about to buy me some property down there in Mississippi. Please do. Yeah, that's yeah. where I'm from. I got to get me some. Yeah. If you know this shit high though, they they boy they tax it's Mississippi. The, this shit high because they don't want a nigga to buy it. What are you trying it's to get it for a nigga? Area, God, it's just high for a nigga. Send a white man to do it, and then you it's Mississippi. And be in the bushes, just be in I the buy bushes. It, but leave me three of them goddamn cows, man. <laughs> shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man. That's dope. What part of Mississippi? You got the land? They, your family uh, got the land? It's going to come to me. Uh, let me see if we go through the Natchez. It's going to come to me. It's somewhere up there now? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, man. He, it's, they got a compound. You heard me? Yeah. And uh, I talked to another little brother the other day. He said him and his brother shelf 15 acres. It's just about what to do with it, man. Like, um, they got all kinds of things you can do with acres out of town. You feel me? Here's a business tip, if I may. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hey, check yeah, it out. You been took you this long? Talk the business tip. Hey, check it out, man. Hey, you know, you got a little money. You know, you got a little something going for yourself. Your credit is decent. Um, here's a gem. You know, go find you some, you know, at least an acre, two acres out of town somewhere. You know, take you whatever that is, you know, 50,000, 40,000, whatever, buy you a lot or two and get it ready to cultivate on. You know what I'm saying? You'd be able to grow hemp there. You could produce up to $30,000 a month from that one acre just off of hemp because there's going to be a demand for that. It's just like having a stock tip knowing when, whose IPO is going to go public. You know what I'm saying? So look into that. You know what I'm saying? I'm seeing That's, my field. Now, let me tell you yeah. what he did not say. He did not say go buy some land and start growing your own weed. He did, not, he, said, no. he did not say he that. No point. Go through the proper channels and don't, because niggas will take shit and run with it. Nigga told me go get the, 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 the pineapple cushion in the backyard. He said, he said hell. <laughs> opium on a block. I got some poppies. You know, next to Christmas, poppies. a nigga just went to growing opium and it's just hell roll city. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. I mean, you know, everybody, everybody passed church and fuck that up. Opium. <laughs> Right yeah. Yeah. Somebody had to do it. Somebody. Nigga told me how to hide a body. <laughs> what? <laughs> this nigga is higher and higher. Yeah. The access. Nobody told you. <laughs> Don't repeat that on here. It's, it's, it's got to be illegal. Don't say that. Get that part out. He meant like hide and seek, y'all. Like a, an alive body. <laughs> he meant assisting you play hide and seek. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> Somebody told me how to hide. <laughs> you won't know how to steal shit off the internet? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> 
Free level smirk. <laughs> yeah, it's about that time. It is about that time. Whatever he, whatever they said he did, he's he's done enough. Yeah, let him out. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of letting them out, <laughs> there's a bunch of motherfuckers they about to have to let it in. Wow. Ooh, white people went crazy the other week. Uh oh. <laughs> they, they went, they went jail. nuts. They went in jail. Man, they ain't gonna do no time. But they she took it. Hey. I ain't like how they got hey. to go home that night. They Niggas don't hey. never get to go home that night. Hey, <laughs> hey, listen. <laughs> All they, how you arrest your cousin? Now look, cause I, you know, I'm hey. just gonna make it look like I got the no. handcuff on you, but hey. I'm just gonna bring you back. They they turn, they're waiting at the bowling alley. Turn, man, I gotta work. take you in. You look like the the the, yeah. the, 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 the alcohol thing reading, you know what I'm saying? I'm I, I kinda make, make it look like I'm taking you right. in. That's what we saw. Not this Come time. Come on, Donnie's still Not this time. This ain't this shit ain't gonna work. I'ma put these handcuffs they on you. Can you translate this? Real laws this time. I'ma put these handcuffs on you. They're not gonna be tight. I've done this before. I'm Willard. I'm Willard. I'm with I'm going to walk you down, and I'm going to sit you in a car. It's already heated. The heat Relax. Is on. You know what I'm saying? And, it's uh, a blanket. Yeah, you like Starbucks? Relax. You like Starbucks? Uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? And I'm going to sit you down. They bit. did some other Gentle shit this Bam. time. They stole the motherfucking mail. They stole all type of shit. Yeah. That's hey, some federal hey, shit. Hey, hey, they hey. went to a Capitol building. Hey, they was mad when niggas fucked up Target. I believe that it's some type. You, I, don't I believe like that's this a shit, terrorist man, type. I got act. white friends. That when they stole the mail, now that's when like did they go down that's there? That's when shit got real. No, they ain't go down there. Even the white lawyers. I got white God damn it! Why did they steal the that mail? Why did they mess like with the mail? He's something about some clearance house shit. <laughs> See, they we gotta get out of here. When they stole that motherfucking envelope with that address on it, that's when shit got real, real right there, bro. Right. Because oh, like, no what y'all don't man. understand is yeah. the motherfucking postmaster yeah. is the most powerful <laughs> motherfucker in the land. In, I'm telling you. <laughs> He's him telling you. Shit get real. When the last time somebody got on TV fucking with some mail? Oh, it's been a minute. <laughs> Every nigga in America know that you don't fuck with the mail. They All these the motherfucking murderers got caught. They made the they news. They ain't fuck with their mailbox. Nah. <laughs> That's real shit. White people then lost it, bro. You saw them climb up that goddamn 40 foot wall and the steps was right there, nigga. Some of them was That's how fucking mad they are. Steps right next to this shit. And they like, help me up, bro. Bro. I'm going to wait for him. Steps right there. Fuck them steps, I'm mad. No. Bro. You just, you just made a whole point. <laughs> You nigga, made a whole point. America is never gonna be the same. Y'all think this shit is a joke. First of all, they done stole that goddamn mail. Nigga, <laughs> shit got so real, a white lady got shot in the neck. Okay, yeah. I don't know if you understand the scope of that. Killed on Capitol, all this Capitol shit Brown. that didn't ever happen. I was smoking. A white woman. A white woman? Everybody going to jail. What are you smoking her? What the fuck? <laughs> Bro, I, this fiend partner. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> the first time he introduced him like that. <laughs> you gave your name. This bitch is the fiend homeboy. We were just running some lines <laughs> for upcoming play. No. Uh, that we're thinking about uh, putting Telling together. You, America about to change after yeah, that. It is. It's already changing right now. Bro, she was climbing up on them well, people. Well, we get shit. the chance to see it. Huh? We get a chance to see it. We did see it. Think about it. Live. They got meetings and stuff that's happening, just like what we saw. On the, in the outwoods and shit that we're unaware of, and they just now we just unaware bringing the meeting on the other side of the fence. You they got some new laws coming yeah, so yeah. fast. Yeah. We ain't going up there nowhere. But For nigga, what? shit then got real. They, they caught her with her knee. Her knee was up on the shit. They told her not to beat Get on. back. I saw that boy. That boy didn't even, that boy ha. good too. That ha. didn't take no that whole boy, bunch he, of chances. It, 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 it was just like, a whole lot of chops on the air. Ooh, ooh, you're still there. still One chopper. shot, I'm talking about smooth. It was over. It was over. Hit the ground. It's crazy. He still, he said, whole lot of chops on the air. Amen. Them white people was in there stealing shit off the wall. They was stealing shit didn't nobody want. Why Presidents, she, nobody even gave a fuck about. Why the woman? Storms in. Why the dudes hitting the, 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 the right? All that right? Just to get it open for her to be the first one to step in. An example to be made of ASAP. 
Yeah. Um, Out of all them dudes, man. Mm. You got your thinking cap on. That's yeah. a thinking cap, ain't it? That's that that's, that's, that's a goddamn thinking cap. <laughs> that's yeah. That I mean, hold on. What if the whole shit was? To, I don't know. You never know. I ain't gonna... Yeah. Yeah. I think. Hey, man. I think. Might have been. Yeah. Hey. I possibly. You know them people. I you mean, know how look, they do? you know how they, hey, when they get around themselves and. Who is they? You see, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> he said, here you go. <laughs> this nigga ruined everything. Y'all talking about the white folks? <laughs> <laughs> Captain Obvious? <laughs> He's a Captain Obvious. Who? White people? No. Yeah. Nah, I don't. Nah. nah, we talking about them folks at the Capitol building. Cause it was some, it was some other type of people down there too. Y'all let a nigga with a raccoon up. hat wreck shit. Come on, hey, man. he looked like he was in like it is your right uh, uh, to fight uh, uh, to party. <laughs> <laughs> looked like he was in that bitch turn, son. When that, when that shit happened, like y'all got white friends. How how y'all white friends? Bro, why you give a fuck? Saying, you over here, you was you looking for some compassion? No, I'm saying like how you how your wife how did your wife They are upset. They I ain't gonna lie. They I, are upset and they're embarrassed yeah, yeah, because yeah. those those are their relatives on yeah. their TV with no teeth in their mouth. My white friends gave People me People in there with no teeth in their mouth talking mm-hmm. about they don't want no free health care. I'm so sorry. It was not what happened. Did you come in? They <laughs> We need you tomorrow. I didn't know. I didn't know it was like I, oh. I saw a video and it arrested you on the room. <laughs> if you come in to work tomorrow, go take a COVID test. Take two and come in tomorrow. Wait. <laughs> Go in the ass. How your wife feel? Huh? Go give how you your wife feels, feel, Bishop? What they say to you? Um, they go well, one of my uh, Caucasian friends, right? He's not Caucasian. I don't know, man. My wife, friend, my wife, my <coughs> wife, my wife friends worth a lot of money. Man. Um, your wife friends worth a lot of money, yeah. so that makes you more compassionate about them. I'm just saying, man. They just you, you okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm trying to find that fuck you want me. You can't to miss get. a load. So you feel like <laughs> by, the, by the white people storming the Capitol the other day it's going to affect your clientele with the white people? No, nah, it just, you know, it's kind of, it's what? like you can post that shit on Instagram and then they delete it. Who? Instagram. No, nah, they ain't delete mine. My, my shit's still up. They left yours up? No, nah, I didn't ever post it. You I don't feel like <laughs> I should give them any publicity. No, nah, I'm just saying if you, post, sure. if you post that, it's going to, you know, your page... They can take this What shit. you mean, that clip of this? Just a lot of that, you know, that went down. You know, but then when you post somebody that's black, it stay up. So yeah, that's that. exactly why we should keep reposting it. Yeah, it, it, it's crazy. No, it's, it's really not. I mean, I feel real American right now. But I think if black people would have went, if black people would have did Ain't no that, if. They would have dropped the bomb. It yeah, wouldn't it would've, even, niggas would've wouldn't have been, been no discussion. But guess what? <clears throat> In the famous words of Manny Fresh, and then what? Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. So if that would have happened. Then what? What if black people would have did that shit? Show up. Okay. Just like you just, you just said. Let me just say. Did have been bomb, right? Nah. Well, that's, been okay. Oh, they probably got okay. a weapon that we ain't never even seen right. before. And that's then like what? a Walmart scanner that just would have just started dropping motherfuckers. Right. Like. That's the right. part. But then, like I'm the saying, Negro, but then right. what? The Negro Ray. And then what? What would we be able to do? What are we prepared what you to gonna, do? Ain't shit else you gonna be able to do. I mean, as far as people that see their people to be destroyed like that before their eyes. Man, I'm telling you, shit would have gotten real. Right. Everybody who would have went to that bitch iPhone would have been exploding on their ass. <laughs> it would have been some shit of epic proportions that right. you've never even it imagined. Been bodies. Right. It wouldn't have been bodies. No, nah, it wouldn't have. It would have, it would have been a bomb right there where that shit at. Drop hey, uh, I'm out here by the Capitol. Uh, yeah. How many people out here got an Apple phone? Is they would have finally unleashed Bigfoot on a nigga. 1.7 million? <laughs> okay, uh, blow those up. These <laughs> you motherfuckers would have nah, called you know, in so, all the resources uh, they had. They got unleashed some shit the gorillas, blow out our back. The sharks, where they stay at. They all they the apex at. predators. <laughs> Bitches would have pulled up with a tank with an orca in it. Throw some sharks on it. Get him, Shamu! <laughs> Kill him, Shamu! I seen the dude take the fucking podium and put it on eBay. Right. Yeah. How much did he get? How much was the opening? I don't know what he, got. he wanted just, racks at first. He got yeah. some time. <laughs> They're bidding on that bitch. 16, 17, bang yeah, on that bitch. He needs to sit down for a little while. 
Now I want to see all them people go to jail. Look, they're not But I'm not about to find who these people are and post it online. I'm not snitching. Nah. The police said they need some help identifying people. You're a goddamn lie. They're they picking them up. They got for five TV. Or ten bags. That ain't. That's that. all they got. <laughs> <laughs> We hey. got five thousand. We got ten. Y'all a goddamn lot. No. These motherfuckers We're got an eleven shit. trillion dollar budget. You at least got fifty k back there if you want this information. Tell us what happened at Lennox Mall. But they we got know. 5, niggas are telling us white people for free. Oh yeah, yeah, they did all that. I know him. I know him. <laughs> We're trying to get yeah. these charges, but yeah, we can't find any credible witnesses. That's him. Man, that's my we neighbor, bro. Tell eyes. me what happened. Did he have that shit on 5,000? Bro, here go his Facebook page right here. Damn. He on my post talking Damn. shit. Damn. He sent me a DM and said, all oh, niggas died. <laughs> Nigga, what else you need? He been doing this shit since, since February. He was Look every at day. Black history post I posted. <laughs> I said I love dark skinned women. This nigga under that post, he go through. <laughs> Look, niggas so dumb if they be like, we got 8,500. Niggas is do it. Why it gotta be 8,500? <laughs> it ain't another number. 8,500 sounds more they than 10,000. Oh, man. <laughs> It couldn't have been 9,500. It had to be 8,500. We got 8,500. Tell us what happened on uh, Peach Street. <laughs> <laughs> huh? That nigga tasered his own balls. Tasered his own balls, right? You wow. saw that? Yeah, gave himself a heart attack. Nigga, I would have had a heart attack too if I would have had a taser Listen, by my nuts. That's, that's how, how you, you how went you, out. You, that's how you went out. Nigga, if you hear a taser sound, <laughs> just, that's enough for your nuts. <laughs> but it to be Damn. right by your nuts, scrambled it. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, your balls hang like uh, lasagna noodles now. <laughs> that's fucked up. <laughs> That damn shame is just dog. Y'all ever been to a club and they like got fake Patron and like huh? they be mixing their drinks? And shit. Fake Patron? <laughs> the shit don't be the right Man, thing so in the bottle. You bro. This what? Thing. It don't be the right thing in the bottle. I don't drink enough to know the difference. It be fake, fake Hennessy, Patron, fake, fake Patron, yeah. fake. They be mixing it What's with the side effects of fake Hennessy? Shit. <laughs> Death. Oh. 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 Fake Hennessy gonna Y'all ain't never been to Fake no Hennessy, club? you gonna know it's fake. This ain't Hennessy. So you ain't never been to a club in Atlanta and the drink wasn't right. Yeah, I don't. I get drunk before I get there. Yeah, but I know this what you mean. Yeah. This ain't no motherfucking. This nigga, <laughs> this nigga here, give me the manager in this bitch. Oh shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, but you ain't never been yeah, to Waffle House and they fuck your up. up. <laughs> <laughs> Them ain't real eggs either. <laughs> oh, hold up. <laughs> You gotta get the egg. <laughs> so, so you say you ain't never ordered breakfast and they fucked it up. <laughs> I ain't bad. Oh, oh, potato ties ain't real. <laughs> you stay woke. <laughs> he says, stay woke. What other potato is the tots in? <laughs> Show me the tots. <laughs> okay, bet. Check this out. You going tit for tot. Tater tots. <laughs> it's tater tots, right? But if you smush them, what you got? Has brown. Come on. <laughs> Why they don't call them smush potatoes? Preach. Do they call them hash browns because like some of them done and then some of them ain't? Or is it because like when you cook them they look like a hash? Or tag? are they missing hash being in them? Ooh. Yeah, because hash ain't that's the little meat. You can get that corn so, meat. Hash. So I mean like shit. cannabis hash. Oh, well, hashish. Is hashish <laughs> missing <laughs> in hash browns? Why been, haven't, like, us as a black community made hash brown a color? That would be fly. Like, what color was it? No, nah, nigga, I'm, like, you know my girl, she, she, she like, she hash brown. <laughs> <laughs> she kind of like, she ain't light skin, but she ain't dark skin. She hash brown, uh, you feel me? You get what I'm saying, right? She hash brown. Ooh, yeah, her feet, her feet and shit light skin. <laughs> Has she has bread. Hey, bro. She dumped my, because you know I used, hey, I used to talk that one bitch. Oh, nigga, I was clean on them niggas. I had that motherfucking iceberg on, that motherfucking hash brown. The hash brown sweater? Man, with them black motherfuckers. With the hood on it? Man, with the shit. Oh, nigga. Oh, man. Because me and my girl sweater. colors for the wedding is going to be black and hash brown. Oh, <laughs> 
Hey, that shall be a color for 2021. I'm telling you, bro. 2021, we make a hash brown, hash brown color. colors. Because we, we got to do it before the makeup industry That's get hard. into it. Yeah, yeah. Because I could just see a makeup artist like, see, you more of a hash brown. <laughs> Bitch, you stole it. You stole it. Or That's you lose cool. your luggage and you go over and be like, yeah, they put my bag, they hash brown. That's my hash brown bag. Yeah. Hey, 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 that's my hash brown bag. You that's your bag. <laughs> shit. What color was it? It's a Louis bag, oh, oh. but hash brown. <laughs> All right, sir, we got your bag. We got the coat. We uh, got it right here. We want to uh, ask you again, uh, what color was her eyes? Uh, oh, okay, but her eyes were hash brown. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a whole color this year. Oh, Prom suit. Bro. Look, you want you, you want to be different? Cause you can go with the. Well, I can do the cream with the hash brown vest. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gold. That's hash brown. But it's like you see the material. Uh, <laughs> I can't do this, bro. <laughs> you can just see your uncle and Chris. Nephew, going. I was so motherfucking clean. I had them motherfucking Levi's on with them hash brown boots. <laughs> Then your Aunt Dolores, she had on that hash brown motherfucking with that hash brown hat. I was so clean in that motherfucker, man, I was, you couldn't tell me a goddamn All them hash brown, brown bitches. Man. <laughs> bro, bro, where you at? I'm with three hash browns. They asking back. <laughs> you yeah. need some hash brown I'm brown. I'm with three hash browns. Yeah, three hash browns. Keep me some hash browns around. Boy. Yeah, now look, man. You know, I'm pull up on you. Come on, you know, Daddy was hash brown. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm pull up on you, Dad. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You know, I got, the, I got the little, you know, I got I'm with the little hash brown. You know what I'm saying? Because you remember you had, you remember he had did with the tall one. The tall. And then the little, you know, the little hash brown. Yeah, the little hash yeah, brown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. You already know. <laughs> right, been right. Pete. Right. He been Pete. Exactly, man. Hard, oh, man. Man, welcome back to the '85 South Show. We about to wrap this shit on up, man. Man, we, we, had to was, come, we had to run some shit. You gotta come back. I'm with it. This just part one. Part one. Hell yeah. yeah you going by 80? All right, everybody. Cause we That's just got the, you know, we got the like motherfucking running it and shit. Yeah, man. We working, we vibing. That's just installment one. Shout out to Chico Bean, shout out to DC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout, shout out to Chico Bean, shout out to DC. Yeah, he out there making moves. Chico just jumped off the uh, No Front Tour. New nice. Year's. You know, because they ain't got no front in the front. There it go, in the front. So no front. <laughs> and keeping it real. No front. Yeah. No cap. Exactly. <laughs> oh, this fucking guy right here. This fucking guy right here. Hey, let me tell you something. Hey, this fucking guy right here. Hey, do you see this guy? This guy right here. This motherfucker right here. This motherfucker right here. The fucking movie. Yeah. The fucking hash brown movie. The hash brown movie. The hash brown movie. Hey, you remember when we were kids and they had that fucking burglar going around, the hash brown movie. You remember that? You remember that guy? We he was, was for him. He was a he fucking name for him. He was a real jerk. 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 He was a hash brown movie. Yeah, yeah, you back. remember? Over oh, East. Over East. Over East. Over East. He used to run around in the little gray area, you know. The little picking that he used to run Yeah, the hash brown movie. He was known in the neighborhood for being a real scumbag. The hash brown movie. Piece of shit. Real piece of shit, hey. That fucking makes me laugh movie. when you say that. I know your father. He told me about you. Who is this guy? His fucking guy. Oh, uh, you know that. When we were kids, his father ran the fucking neighborhood with an iron fist. That's your man. That's my fucking man's right That's there. That's man. my guy. He's what we go. He say he's in the business. He's made. He's a mean, made. He's a good guy. But I remember that fucking piece of shit, the hash brown mullet. I'll piece never forget shit. him. <laughs> Stole my fucking underwear <laughs> off my ass, man. Yo, that was his fucking thing. He was just, he was just fucking stealing all types of shit. And the hash brown movie. He wanted to steal it off you. <laughs> yes, taking it wasn't enough. He had to take it off. The draw snatcher. Real piece of shit, this guy. I Real told you. Look at that asshole. Hash brown movie. The hash brown movie. <laughs> Wow, On the bro. next episode of the Hash Brown Movie. <laughs> Listen, Jack. <laughs> Killing me ain't gonna do nothing. <laughs> you lucky I can't reach my motherfucking tool belt. <laughs> Turtle mouth bitch. 
<laughs> OG Bobby Johnson edition. He's <laughs> <laughs> here terrible. I gotta go, bro. He has, bro. <laughs> you can just hear the theme I song. Hot Sprout Moody. <laughs> flying all through the sky. Oh, shit. Hot Sprout Moody. Hot Sprout Moody. <laughs> we got a fiend theme song before it was all over with. Oh, Just man, we, quick. we were working, man. We were vibing, hey. man. It was genius, Ooh, man. You got that, it. That's genius, a whole man. other thing. Right yeah, there, man. we were working. Just know, <laughs> yeah. this is volume one. Man, they just drew you. Please <laughs> do. <laughs> We got to get out of here, man. Before the Hash Brown Moolah shows up. Before that. Nah, man, yeah. this been dope as hell, man. We really appreciate you following through. Yeah. Yo, yeah. 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 appreciate it, bro. Appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. My guy, my yeah. dog, man. Hey, this is another hey. episode of 85 hey. South Show. We out this bitch. Yeah. yeah. Hey. Yes. Mm. Let's get some pictures for you, Dipset. Yeah. Don't post it. I got some pictures for the chip. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, that is funny as shit, bro. <laughs> God damn, The man. hash brown moolie. Hash brown moolie. <laughs> that sounds like a tiptoe burger. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>